And good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's episode of Chronicles of Gashtala uh, from Crit Test Dummies. Uh, this is our third episode of our new season. I uh, want to welcome back our players. If you want to give a quick uh, name and who you are and stuff, uh, Alex. Hi, guys. I'm uh, Echo. I'm playing Echo, I should say. Uh, I'm a Goliath. Uh, Barbarian, and uh, yes, I'm working in the mines. Nice. And Luke? Yo, I am Henry Kinnevar. Uh, playing Henry Kinnevar. I am Luke. And uh, yeah, I am a warlock. It's been so long, I don't know nothing. <laughs> Where am I? Who am I? Where am <laughs> I? I? What am I? Where am I? Who are you? <laughs> Patrick, who are you? Um, hey, I'm Patrick. Uh, I grew up in Schwerin, Germany. I am 38 <laughs> years old. No, I'm kidding. Um, I, I like long walks in the park. <laughs> <laughs> reading, swimming, uh, hunting boar. Uh, I'm playing Abby, um, the Kalashtar uh, druid, uh, currently figuring out what she has become. Nice. Uh, and last but not least, Chris. I'm Chris. My character's name is not important. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but I am uh, I am a, a rogue, unsurprisingly, a rogue of mysterious origin that they are slowly discovering about. Nice. Uh, and as always, a uh, big thank you to Daylight Productions. This series is based off of their source book, Supers and Sorcery, available on Drive Through rpg.com this book right here Ooh, uh, it's getting <laughs> zoom is getting confused and putting it in the background Ooh, it disappeared it looks uh, like the, the special effects they had in, in back to the future where marty disappears <laughs> <laughs> i like how we've barely gotten through our introductions and we're already pretty well off the rails at this point that's great fun what uh, anyways <laughs> what, yeah, what rails <laughs> Oh, and every DM starts crying in empathy. Anyways, so previously empathy. in our last last two episodes, Echo, Ebby, and Henry uh, were in the mines on a typical workday uh, in the Asha Mining Corporation and followed a vision that Ebby was having to the ninth deepest level of the mine and discovered a uh, secret lab that seemed to be set up to uh, study these odd black crystals that seem to only be found in this deep, deep level of the mine. Along the way, they picked up Shaw, a shapeshifter that's also investigating the mines for their own reasons. Uh, in the lab, they defeated a thing uh, that seemed to be investigating these crystals as well uh, before meeting Domal Asha, CEO of the mining corporation that tasked them with finding the uh, leader of the burgeoning union that is becoming a pain in his side uh, under threat of, you know, attacking all of their friends and family, as you do. Uh, so investigating a little bit uh, and making a trade with Witty, uh, the nobled uh, clerk of the company store, uh, they got a name. Olivier Sakurova. With a little bit of finagling with the administrative offices, they managed to get themselves switched to the shift that Olivier works and are now currently outside of the mines for a second shift starting about, about 4 p.m. in search of Olivier Sakurova, head of the miners union and target of Domalasha. And with that, what would you all like to do? Well, I have assumed the identity of um, uh, Billowin uh, Maristhwaite, a random miner. <laughs> I'm assuming you all knew them. So what I'm was that sure name what... again? <laughs> so easily forgettable. <laughs> I know, right? I don't know where that name came from off the top of my imagination, but um, I assume you all knew their personality. Were they quiet? Mm -hmm. Were they loud? You tell us. What is this person like? 
You made a, I, if I recall correctly, you made a deal with them to yeah, I took a take sick a sick day. day. I think I picked took someone over for them. kind of average. That's usually okay. the, 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 the trend. So I'm just kind of keeping quiet, hovering behind the other three, waiting okay. to see what happens. You all pass Penny, the supervisor for the second shift. She nods at you and notes down that your entrance. Oh, this is so pleasant. <laughs> Wait, why are we going on oh, my internet connections? Hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Um, it's our free day that we negotiated. Are we going down the mines? Is that it? It, it is your free day. Uh, where we left off, uh, technically you have the day off. However, uh, there was discussion of searching for Olivier, who is on shift right now. So she is somewhere either entering or in the mines at the moment. Mm -hmm. hmm. So we swapped okay. to try and find this person. And we haven't completely decided what we're going to do when we find them. Nope. <laughs> but, we should uh, probably talk about this before we find her. No, we should... Because we don't know their motivation. Their motivation. Do we already know, know that she's... Sorry, the head of the union, or yes, mm -hmm. okay. She's we... a pain in <laughs> Domal Asha's side, so mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm inclined of helping her however we can, at least warning yeah. her. If if we show up, hey, we heard you're doing a thing. Um, maybe that might not be the best course of action because it could be misconstrued as like. You like spies of this Domo guy. Yeah. Um, we just need to express our frustration um, with the way things are. We tell them stories of abuse. I think things it's, like it's, it's, it might be easier to to convince them uh, that they this that uh, Winnie said they would have after the shift at this um, place. Sorry, yeah. In the it, it was in in her store, right? On the shift first, and just appear like you know. You have to build the subterfuge a little <laughs> first. You, we appear as normal workers. We, we say, hey, how you're doing? You know, we put in a good, a good time. Maybe we make a few passing comments about the, about the work conditions, and then down the pub is where we. Oh, you, you seem to know that kind of subterfuge. Well, um, I don't know how good we are in terms of lying. Just be yourselves. I'm not saying you are yeah. not liars, I'm just saying be yourselves. <laughs> I've been known to tell the odd lie, but... Yes. I believe we should be forthright with... I mean, Olivier. yeah, look at me. I, I Nobody's going to believe I'm having a hard time in the mines. I look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how you got this job, to be honest with you. But, uh... <laughs> I, I don't know how you skipped this job so far. <laughs> That's something else. Um, it's in, in my world, we call it the secret. <clears throat> no, I'm kidding. Wow. Um, yeah, so, yeah, maybe, yeah, I mean, this, the whole day to kill. Um, we, we might as well approach in, in the mines because alternatively we do what exactly eat drink rest and... so i mean let's think about it what are what are our options mm. so we could bring her in easiest payday we've ever had job done we know where she is you know where she is or I don't like that option we could... no. that wasn't the job right it was the job, but we weren't. Well, it was the job. the job we wanted. I thought we, already, was... we also need to get sort of rid of, or we, we need to destroy the union or something like that. The uh, exact like thing that you were asked for, just as a reminder, because this was two weeks ago, uh, Domol hired you to find the identi identity of and take care of the head of the union. All right. Uh, for which you would be fit, paid 50 gold each. Right. Hey, I, I have an odd idea, sort of like an done with our previous option. I, I'll add one after. The other option is, of course, to join her. And with that, I feel we would have a good chance of taking down the big, uh, small, small, big guy. <clears throat> 
because I feel like having her and the whole union behind us. Mm. We would need to find out how big this union is, right? Side. Maybe it's not many. Maybe it's five. I think so. <laughs> Nothing, he he did not specify. Don't capitalist. Did not specify when we had to do this. So right. we, we actually probably... did. You had two days. Oh, two yeah. days. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's very true, actually. Well, so you are now one day in. Yeah. Okay. Got a day left. So, hmm. I don't know. We have to make a decision fairly quickly. We don't really. I guess we can, if we win her trust this evening, we can find out relatively quickly. But um, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be able to live with myself if we turned her in. To be honest. No. Well, that, that's I think the best chance we have to get out of this hell home. As you're standing having this conversation, you have miners from the second shift that are kind of weaving past you, and at one point, Penny comes up to you. Her kind of short dwarven stature, curly blonde hair kind of falling down her back. Um, you weren't scheduled to work today. Um, are you trying to earn some extra money or I just need to mark if you're going in. Oh yeah. Did we change shifts? shifts? We did change I mean, shifts. You did to this shift, uh, but you, I have marked that you have today off. I know, I felt so young and full of energy today. So, you know, I thought- We were workaholics. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> we have debt to pay. Good you know you. how it is. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> um, so, uh, should I mark you as headed in today? Yes. Uh, no, no need. Well, I mean, if I don't mark you, I can't pay you. Uh, oh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's fine. Sure. I would like to but, be marked in, please. I, yes. Yeah. Mark. Mark him in. Okay, uh, Billowin. Um, oh, you switched crews. Okay. And she <laughs> marks you in. <laughs> um, when, when we have, uh, like, a moment to ourselves, I would uh, bring up my option. What, what's your option? Well, uh, Mr. Subterfuge, um, <laughs> can we agree we, we all don't like Clarence? Who's Mr. Subterfuge? <laughs> <laughs> um... I forgot who Clarence is, though. Who's Clarence? Clarence. Terrence. 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 Oh, Terrence. Terrence. Terrence well. is the supervisor from the shift that you were on that is an asshole. If there's nothing I hate could more... could frame him! Could you look like him? I sure could. If there's nothing I hate more than capitalists, it's middle management. <laughs> I mean, if if we... I believe this... this uh, um, this Domo guy, Domo, um, is powerful, yeah? Um, so he needs a scapegoat? It, it, I mean, I like he's it. innocent technically, but he's also an asshole. Uh, the thing is, for, for the thing is though, are you all headed into the yes, mines yes, at yes, this yes, point? Yes. Are you continuing mm -hmm. to stand around? What is, <laughs> what well, are we're you heading doing in, we're... during this conversation? <laughs> Everything I say, I say telepathically to them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So as you're having this telepathic conversation, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Heading in, heading in. Heading okay. in, looking for... Discuss so, whether we, we join the um, deal and try okay. to dis yep. dismantle the whole um, operation and just bring the leader into the plan of framing asshole and, um, and try to, I mean... It's a start of a plan. I don't know what happens if he finds out or, you know. But I feel like we could bring Olivier into that discussion, actually. Yeah. Why not? Into the, include her in the plan. So maybe we could work something out together. Agreed. About this time, the stream of miners entering the mine for work today uh, starts carrying you inside the gaping mall that is the entrance to this mine. As you walk in and start heading down the large spiraling access ramp that corkscrews all the way down through all the levels. Uh, as you continue talking, just the sun fades behind you. And eventually as you come around that first turn of the corkscrew, it's just the light of 
your work lamps, the safety lamps that you have, as you once again enter the dark. As you start going down, miners start to peel off at various levels, going toward uh, down the galleries at the first level, the second level, to their various assignments or where they're choosing to go for this particular work day. Where are you going? Are you just continuing to aimlessly walk down? Is there a target level that you're headed for? I guess we would try to find Olivia. At least maybe see if we can get a glimpse of her. Okay. Uh, make a perception check, please. <laughs> Anyone want to help me with that? <laughs> uh, I sure. can well, uh, yeah, we can do a group perception. All of you make one, please. I, I know what she looks like. Does that help? <laughs> well, all of you know what she looks like. <laughs> you got a description of her as well. That's a, it's a 10. I mean, 10 from Henry, 7 from Shaw, Ebby and Echo. Nineteen from Echo. Nice. That's Ebby. some echolocation, man. That's awful. And an echo <laughs> one for Ebby. Uh, Ebby, you are looking at your new crystalline claws and considering the new, the new manicure that your new powers have apparently given you. I. Uh, so Shaw, cool. Shaw and Henry, you're discussing your plans and whether or not you want to bring Olivier into this and all of that. Echo. As you're spiraling down, you catch a brief glimpse of bright red hair flash going down the corkscrew as the lamp light turns and catches her. And you know from seeing her in passing before in descriptions that uh, it's hard to mistake Olivier's tall stature and trademark red hair. It's probably her. As she continues down further past level three is about where you are at this time. Guys, guys, I think I saw Olivier. She's just ahead of us. All right, keep an eye on her. Shall we try following her in well, conspicuous? Hang on, let's, let's be a little bit more smart around this. Uh, which which bit of the mine is she heading into? Uh, she's That's not heading three. into a gallery yet. You're okay. still on that larger access, uh, is, access she, way. is she like the same level as, as, as I mean, and I mean, in seniority level, or is she like a more senior miner or more experienced or something like that? Uh, she's been around. Okay, uh, well, her family is yeah. one of that. the legacy families here, I guess you could say. We can use that. We're new to this shift. We want to see. We want to follow someone more experienced to get an idea of uh, where best is to work in this shift. I think we could just follow her without drawing too much attention. Doing so, sure, yeah. I, I did this last like last night. Uh, I can apparently turn into other things as well. Uh, I could maybe turn into a cat or a mouse, I don't know, or a spider. Can you turn in, into a chicken? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Wow. That's so common in mine shafts. It, yeah. I mean, uh, birds are. I mean, chicken is not too far away. <laughs> yeah, a bird might, like... Um... Or can you turn into a dragon? No. I, oh. I, so, something tells me I can't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a lizard? Have you tried? <laughs> How about a snake? <laughs> Any reptile. Uh, or... Uh, um, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I think you suddenly disappearing could possibly be even more suspicious. I don't know. But I you're not also alone call my friend right now. Mm. Uh -oh. friend. Someone's breaking up. Is it me? Pete's What? Oh, okay. Patrick, you were saying? Can you hear Abby? me? Yes, I can. Go for it, Abby. What were you saying? Uh also, uh um if if we want to follow curiously, I could um I could get my purring friend that you, you might have heard. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it was only me, but um, I, I've established contact. 
um, with something that looks like me in mini form. What are you talking about? Yep. None of you saw this vision, so you have no clue what he's, she is talking about. Uh, well, it, it was maybe in my head, but then again, so are most. Uh, so I have this new friend. Okay. With wings. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know him. <laughs> I mean, if we, you talking in riddles is not that out of the ordinary, but this time I really can't follow. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I, um, hey, cat, you can come out. A cat with wings? What? A cat mm -hmm. with wings, yeah. Uh, I've been trying to tell you, I've, I've been hearing weird sounds lately. Mm -hmm. Um, and from like, the next corner comes a little Tristim, like a... Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and describe your partner. Uh, you all see, uh, have seen me when I was in, in my wild shape form, yes? Mm -hmm. The Sphinx, yeah. Yeah, like that, but in small. <laughs> yep. So this little kind of tawny golden brown cat just kind of slinks from around the corner with these wings kind of folded over the back of it that the wings almost shimmer almost like crystals catching the light there's somewhere it's hard to tell whether it's real or a trick of the minimal lighting in here but there's this odd uh kind of iridescence to the wings and just kind of comes from around the corner and you see one or two of the miners around that just kind of look at it do the mental calculation and go, nope, not worth it, and continue on their way <laughs> uh, as it comes up to Ebby and just... I mean, was that the same cat that led us down to the lower levels in the first uh, session? Uh, maybe. <laughs> well, uh, uh, yeah. And didn't you see it? Didn't you see it the first time? or yeah. Ebby, it looks very okay. similar to the cat that led you down, yes. Uh, oh yeah, I saw her, right? Mm -hmm, you did. I mean, I guess that makes it a little less conspicuous if it's been around here before. Maybe other miners have seen it. Maybe just make sure it doesn't stay too close to you. Yeah, it can it can walk ahead and um, and tell us if anything weird comes up. Yeah, perhaps not let it fly around so much out in the open. <laughs> That might be suspicious. Oh, Mrs. Cat, wow. uh, best best walk now, not fly. <laughs> it's probably about time we did some work, I guess. Are we That's already the... out of the staircase, though? Or... No, that, you've been just going. Uh, I was about to say. We were fo following Olivia, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Echo, you kind of kept eyes on this. With the 19 on the perception, you're able to kind of keep an eye out for it and just look for those flashes of red. Nice. And they continue in front of you, down and down. And as you pass the sixth level, which it, it's deep at this point, and even those of you that are fairly experienced feel the weight of the mountain over top of you and how far below the earth you are. The air is getting progressively cooler and damper as you go down. This kind of odd, clammy sensation as you get deeper and deeper into the earth. And you do eventually see a flash of red as Olivier and three other people head into Gallery 7. Is there a gallery next to that? Or... Uh, the gallery is the main tunnel for that level. Okay. So it's, if you've ever seen pictures of like the big mining tunnels that like the big, huge trucks and everything can go through, that's a gallery. Uh, and then the smaller tunnels that actually head to seams uh, shoot off of that. All right, let's follow her into the gallery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Into the gallery, but not further, I would say. Mm -hmm. so are you keeping your experience. distance from her? Are you trying to catch up with her group? What are you doing? I think we should like probably we'll wait probably. And see into which uh, sub tunnel she, she goes into. 
Yeah, I can I can look at uh, and and see whichever way. You should just try to act normal, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So act you normal. all just chill at the entrance to this gallery, the seventh level of the mine. Just, yeah. just act naturally. So cool stones, like, eh? Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, like <laughs> padding the walls. I don't. I mean, you're the miners. I, I guess my subject of being a miner is a little different. But like you know, like looking at the, looking at the the quality of the the stone and and stuff. Mm-hmm. As you all act natural, uh, so you're sending your cat ahead, Abby. Yep. Okay. Ne- uh, your cat kind of looks up at you and starts to slink off down the gallery keeping behind them can you make a stealth check for your cat please yeah of course uh is uh oh yeah of course she's proficient (laughs) 24 holy crap nice yeah uh Echo, Henry, and Shaw. The cat steps away from Ebby and just almost immediately, despite its iridescent wings and golden tawny fur, just somehow <sighs> disappears into the shadow. Impressive. And the footsteps fall silently as the I cat slinks off. Someone so shimmery has a creature so sneaky. <laughs> Uh, as the cat wanders away, uh, Henry, you notice that your uh, canary that you carry with you uh, suddenly is a lot more relaxed <laughs> <laughs> as the cat slinks away. It's gonna be okay, Boba. She doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah, th- that's right. She's apparently I, 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 I don't know why I know this, but she's she's a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> See, Boba, nothing to worry about. She, like, all, she, all she has eaten so far is uh, my granola bars. <laughs> <laughs> so your cat slinks away and Boba just kind of ruffles their feathers a little bit. <laughs> Settles back into their perch. I squishes her head a little bit. I'm not, I have no idea what sound a canary makes. Tweet! <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would it, be so amazing the bird just sitting there. Tweet. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Your bird just in a dark, rich baritone <laughs> tweets in happiness. Uh, as Ebby's cat follows Olivier. Ebby, are you putting your sight into the cat or? Yeah, I, I think I think that makes sense because we're just standing there nonchalantly. Okay. Yeah. So as you three wait, you notice that Ebby's eyes just kind of cloud over for a second. She doesn't <laughs> seem to be reacting to anything that you're saying anymore or anything happening around you. Is she still standing? Can she stand? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so well, mechanically what's happening is there. her sight and hearing is with the cat right now. Like, Ebby can still feel if one of you punched her, she could feel it. Uh, it's not suddenly going to fall over. It's not like astral projection where the soul leaves the body. It's just sight and hearing. It's your sight and hearing, enters the cat, as you stealthily track Olivier and her crew. And they go quite a bit of the ways down this tunnel. They're hard to tell distance, but it must be at least 500 700, 900 meters in towards the back of this particular level in this particular gallery before they go off to the right Mm -hmm. into a side tunnel. Uh, Make a perception check for your cat, please. Uh, Based on what sense? Uh, Yeah. Based off sight. Sight, okay. Uh, has it anything to do with invisibility? Because no. she can detect that. Nope. Or just a regular then, huh? Mm-hmm. 26. Jeez. Nice. As, so your cat is tracking Olivier, because that's who you said to track, but you do notice that of her group of three other people, 
every once in a while as they're passing uh, one of the side tunnels, one of them will break off and go into the tunnel briefly before coming back out and catching up with the group. Uh, can I can I check what that one's doing as well? Uh, yeah, it's the other three. It's almost like they're taking turns going into side tunnels. Uh, but yeah, you send the cat down one briefly. Uh, and it seems to be just a, another group of miners that are setting up and getting ready to get to work in their particular area that they've staked out for the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you see, Abby? She can't hear you. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> she does not respond. Okay, I'll, I'll wait a little bit um, okay. uh, until they, they don't like move anymore. Okay. As you're waiting, you, you feel this poke on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I ordered the cat to fall back. Okay. Takes a few minutes, but the cat eventually rejoins the group, curls itself around your legs. As soon as Abby comes out of her sights, she sees me standing in front of her, going like this in front of her face. <laughs> Hello? Are you okay? Oh, you're back? Your hand was spasming out. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, I was, uh, I was uh, using the senses of uh, my feline friend. Oh, wow. You can do that? Uh, yeah. Nice. What did, what did it see? Was it uh, the, uh, I'll tell you guys where it went um, and that they're currently stationary. Hmm. And, and uh, about the, the thing that some that the the other three walk off into like a different branch of the tunnel every once in a while. Do you know Is it just down them down there? Are they alone? Uh, that's as far as I understood. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But have have any of you been down that area before? I have. Just now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess. Henry if I have, it's been a while ago. Yeah, Henry and Echo, it's a possibility you've been down here before. Uh, yeah. Typically, you're on more mid-levels, five and six. But yeah, it's feasible you've worked down here once or twice before. Guys, I think we should say hello. Introduce us. I agree. Now that also she's alone down there, there might not be any prying ears. And I believe the people she's with are... In her confidants, he's doing perhaps, yeah, probably Big assumption, but oh. true. We, sh it also we shouldn't be like super straightforward about it. <laughs> no, definitely. I not. mean, yeah. <laughs> well, um, why not though? Well, who knows uh, who she's with right now? Yeah. I mean, she, she might be with people who don't know about the union. I don't, well, we think could just say, we could just say. We would like mm. to talk to Olivier, and then if we get to talk to her, we can ask her if we can speak freely or whatever. Uh, uh, wait, Abby, you you can uh, use your telepathy, right? Can she answer you uh, telepathically, Olivier? But then uh, I, I can only do it to one uh, person at a time. So if I talk. Um, I can't talk. Uh, you cannot talk back to me. You you would understand, but only she would be the only one to to be able to understand uh, to to talk back to me. Well, that's yeah. that's good, right? That's enough. Yeah. I think if she can hear, you but should just she... ask her if if she if she can if she can talk. My concern yeah. is that if we just suddenly say, "Hey, we know this secret information <laughs> about you," that's uh, a little suspicious. I don't know. Hmm. She want to know who told us. That might be problematic. She then we say who told us. We want to know. We, uh, know. It wasn't a plan to tell her everything because it, we like her. I don't know if we like her. We never met. I feel like this is too obvious, but hey, I've met her. I can always. And be I know I already tomorrow. like her more. Mm. Also, you, you. Um, I don't know if like you seem untrustworthy, like. <laughs> um, you, you should assume uh, uh, she 
finds less um like like maybe more recognizable and something that uh i am currently the form of a miner who's a regular on this shift that seems pretty trustworthy to me true yeah but but what if when we meet her again if you're somebody else you know what i mean well i won't be <laughs> okay good <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should put this up to a vote. I vote that we are going, that we should be forthright with her. Yes, Samuel. Forthright, but clandestine, right? I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> it means we, we don't scream, hey, where's, where's the union meeting? But right. I, I think the tele telepathy thing would be, wouldn't be a bad idea just to ask her whether or not she, we can talk freely. We should let her know that the big bad guy knows that there's a union and is looking for her and trying to get her off. I think that's an okay approach. Yeah, I think cards on the table is, is well, that's like halfway on the table, but but I think that's that's good. I think it's a better approach because it set, it shows that we're interested in the same ideas and it's not just yeah. hey, we hear you're in a, we hear you've got a union, we want to join. It's we want to help yeah. protect you. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought we all. Um, I mean, look at us. Uh, figure out that that she's the one, uh, and maybe the 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 bad evil dude hedges his bets and and also us other people. I don't know. So she might be in trouble already without her knowing. Exactly. Am I the only one for whom uh, Patrick is kind of? uh breaking in and out no there are some uh connection issues with his psychic uh transmission yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, bad reception in the mines <laughs> yeah we're pretty we're pretty low Must okay so i say we on. introduce ourselves so? yeah um, abby uh as you are having this conversation. Uh, are you guys walking towards Olivier while you're having this conversation? Or are you still at the main entrance to the gallery? Well, we were having this discussion somewhere like private, but we, I don't think we went very far during. Okay. Uh, Ebby, as you're having this conversation, uh, you notice a pair of miners that are leaving this particular gallery heading back towards the access tunnel uh and you just catch one of them glance into kind of the side area that you're in for slightly longer than would possibly just be curiosity glance into the direction uh he came from sorry glance into the direction that he came from he's glancing at you guys direction. To our direction. Yes. Uh, is it? Is he one of the guys that was with with uh, Olivier? No. Hmm. Guys, act normal. I think somebody's watching us. They're already yeah. past you at this point. Okay. They're just standing around, not doing very much. It seems. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Suspicious. Let's go, huh? Yes. Ah, back to work, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Enough lollygagging. <laughs> All right, so we're walking towards uh, where Olivier is at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we know who, who the the person looked at just now? Uh, just seemed to be. Uh, you didn't see anything. You didn't notice anything oh, okay. at all. Uh, just, Abby's the only one that caught it. Okay. okay. And for Abby, it was just a somebody glanced because you had kind of ducked into this side tunnel area. It's just somebody that uh, looked in kind of curiously taking note of the fact that you're there and kept walk going. Okay, cool. Going. Okay. Yeah. To the rest of you, if to, it was, I need to you check on see them at all, it was normal. Okay. As Henry cool. goes to check on his canary. Uh, <laughs> 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 you all head down the gallery towards Olivier. Hearing the ching, ching, tumbling rocks and pickaxes and shovels. Every once in a while you pass somebody 
uh, either dragging a basket or pushing a cart of uh, coal and waste rock out of the tunnels and out of the gallery towards that main access ramp uh, to either meet the elevator uh, to carry everything up or make the long trek up around the spiral to take their haul out to be weighed for their, their pay for the end of the day. As they pass these comings and goings, you see fewer and fewer miners as you go through this gallery before eventually, Ebby, you know that you're getting close to uh, where Olivier and her group seems to duck off to towards the right. Sorry about that. That's fine. What level no. are we on? What level are we on, did you say? Seven. Seven. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're level two right now. So no, you're level mine. two, you're level seven in the mine. <laughs> okay. So as you, as Ebby, hello. There's a. Excuse me. Hi. <laughs> you turn the corner and find a a uh, group of four miners that are working about 100 meters into this tunnel. Like, this is a fairly far push. Uh, and they are in the narrow part of the tunnel. Some of you have been in parts like this before where you're almost having to crawl to get to the seam. As you hear the ch- ch- of the pickaxes going in and the scrape of the shovels along the ground as you call out but it stops you see uh the two standing in the back a uh, human woman and a half elf that were clearing out some of the scrap uh rock out of the way both just kind of turn to look at you while there's a bit of a shuffling and a tiefling and a woman with big red hair turn around to face you i help you Oh, I, I would like to keep an eye on the tunnel we came down, um, and possibly make a perception check, the, please. Disappear into the shadows ever so slightly, and keep an eye on where we came from. Perception. Make a perception check. Yep. I say, uh, while while he's checking, uh, uh, hello, uh, Six you don't know us. Um, we're we're new to this shift. Maybe maybe you you've seen my friend Henry around before. Uh, that's Henry, uh, and this is Echo, and uh, my my absent-minded friend. I forgot his name, uh, but but he's cool too. I'm I'm Abby, and then in in her head, I say, um, uh, what I'm saying now, nobody else can hear. Don't don't uh, be surprised or don't be alerted. It's just um, a privacy matter. Uh, precaution you know you can talk back if you want it's it's weird i know but um we want to talk to you it's important there's a delay like for the rest of you there's an audible delay almost like when you're trying to speak to somebody over like the old satellite connections as ebby adds this last part silently and a little bit to your surprise, Abby, and to her, her credit, Olivier doesn't really react to the fact that you're suddenly speaking in her mind beyond just raising an eyebrow. Welcome to the shift. What exactly can we help you with? Uh, not. What a. That's an odd question. Uh, n- nothing? Um,. We we we're, we're here to help you, I think. I see. Uh, and what exactly do we need your help for? Well, we openly. Uh, is this is this um your friends? Are they cool? Um, let <laughs> <laughs> me introduce you. To my team here. Uh, the tiefling is Jasper, and the tiefling that was in 
on his belly next to her and kind of this really tight seam, this very claustrophobic area of the mind, just gives you a very curt nod. It's hard to tell what color tiefling he is just because there's kind of coal dust covering everything at the moment. Just very stern, curt nod, echo, very similar personalities going on there. <laughs> uh, uh, this lovely woman's Corinne. And there's uh, one of the women that was sweeping off the extra rocks and clearing the way and giving the other two space to work. Uh, pleased to meet you. Uh, as her, she nods and kind of her short brown hair just kind of flops over her eyes for a moment. She pushes it back. And this gentleman here is Mile. And the last person, a half-elf. Uh, it's actually very similar in stature to you, Abby. Uh, kind of lanky and thin, but as you look closer, there's not bulky, but solid corded muscle going down his arm. Just kind of gives you this kind of like upwards nod, like sup. Hey. <laughs> uh, short, but almost buzz cut, uh, black hair. They're trustworthy folk. Okay. Um, Oh, where do we begin? <laughs> uh, we should probably begin with um, you're in danger. You probably know. You're gonna have to be more specific than that, that, honey. We're working on mine. Uh, I, I sort of like, um, I, I raised my head like, I got this. Uh, and I say telepathically, uh, we gather you're the head of the union. Again, there's just an eyebrow raised to it. It's the only real visible reaction to the question and then a very short nod and uh if that's true uh people certain people might find that uh not desirable and they would like to know uh your identity identity i think um and we were sort of forced to to investigate. We don't really want to. Uh, we had no choice, but we found out. And maybe you're in danger because it was not hard to find out. Uh, we we rather sympathize with with your cause, I would say. Um, and and we're just here to to tell you we have no intention. I think uh, to uh, like to you know uh, rat you out or anything. We we we'd, we'd rather much like join you cause i think that makes sense and to the rest of you again there's this long pause <laughs> as there's this silent conversation happening and you watch as uh mile and corinne just kind of lean back against the wall uh jasper the tiefling the longer this goes on you see kind of the eyebrow raise and kind of he gets more and more suspicious as it continues I'm um I'm I'm kind of retconning here, but um I can choose whether others can understand me as well as long as they are currently within twenty feet. It, mm -hmm. it the distance increases with character level, but mm -hmm. um I, I assume we do not stand far away from each other or that far. So yeah, people, you're not shouting down the hallway, no. I I would I would say that um my current party um not there, not not them, not the others uh, mm -hmm. would would be able to understand what I say. So everybody is like not like only the others are super confused maybe. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. <laughs> so Jasper, Mile, and Corin are still kind of left Corinne are still kind of left out of this. As uh, she kind of thinks for a second. Well, it's mighty nice of you to come and warn us, but we're well accustomed to the dangers of the mine. Okay. Well, if if that's it, I mean, can you hear um, thoughts back in that tele telepathic conversation? What? How does? Uh, as an as an action, somebody uh, I I can make somebody be able to respond for an hour. Okay. Until I use that action to make somebody Are else. Are you letting her respond telepathically as well? Sure. Okay. Uh, you just hear back from her just inside of your head only. Uh, 
safe-ish to talk here, but not the best. Uh, after the shift, you know the old blacksmith shop south of town? It's not used anymore. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, we do. That's why we originally wanted to meet up with you uh, after the shift, right? Um, Let's meet there. Okay. Yeah. And that's better. Please it's probably more sure safe. You're not yeah. followed. Uh, sure. Um, I'll make sure we're not followed. Uh, I gather that uh, you don't completely trust your companions. I say it to uh, like sort of like brief my companions because they weren't able to understand her. Um, and then say like. Um, Let's make this conversation a little bit more or less uh, less awkward. <laughs> that would be good, yes. Uh, yeah, we we just like it's dangerous down here because of yeah we've we've seen some shadows and stuff. I say normally, and we just wanted to make sure like you might you might be in danger because these weird things going on, and I I, I make the cat in in the background do a little voice, <laughs> do a little noise, and then uh, disappear. Um, what was that? You brought a cat down here? Oh, you, you see that it's a cat? Uh, wow. I heard a cat. I mean... Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, not many things go round. <sighs> Maybe it was a ventriloquist. I don't know. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. I speak with my mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Abby, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, um, <clears throat> it's getting late, huh? Uh, we're eating it's... kind of early. <laughs> kind of like just grab Abby by it's the stuff. It's and so nice of you whatever. to check in on us. Why don't you all go away now? Uh, uh, nice to I, see you, Olivia. I, I don't think they like us very much here. We get lots of looks from that one over there as well. Uh, okay. Um, just wanted to introduce ourselves to the shift, uh, I think, as well. Uh, just, because we're just no, and you seem to be... Um, uh, uh, all right. Be going. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, she talks a lot, doesn't she? Uh, well, you left <laughs> me in charge of talking. I'm not even from this I think planet. Well, she's kind talked of more than she has. Been. I'm, I'm not accustomed to how people talk here, but I don't know. <laughs> You did well. Uh, well. The German accent Revealed came through. a bit too much. <laughs> you did well. Oh, new, okay. My new mic is a lot louder. Sorry. Oh, good. Well, it's fine. I so. guess we need to do some work. <clears throat> well, no time like the present. <laughs> so you all work away the rest of your shift, uh, unless you care to do something else. Oh, I, th I think we just do light work, not work too hard because we didn't really sign in anyway. At right. least I'm just going to more or less do check around a little bit, hammer here, hammer there a little bit. And <laughs> okay. Can I get a group athletics check, please? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was going to specify I wasn't really going to work because I don't want nice. to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Echo, what's wrong? Did you not eat anything oh for breakfast? Yeah, so <laughs> a nine from Henry, a seven from Echo, an eight from Shaw, and a ten from Ebby. Well, oh, the lowest I'm athletics Lord. has the highest roll. Can I just mention Sorry, that? 12 from Shaw. <laughs> uh, so, yes, you all definitely pretend to work <laughs> as you just kind of chunk, chunk. You hit the wall with some of the tools. Uh, Bobo the canary is just kind of chilling in their cage. Yeah, we're mostly just chatting, I would say. At, at some point, Ebby just stops even like, pretending and is ow. just petting their cat. <laughs> There's, You don't really get anything out of the mine today. <laughs> I could it's, get used to this. This yeah, is nice. It's, it's, it's fine. We, we didn't sign in anyway, so... <laughs> One of you did. <laughs> Ah, yeah, so not really he could them, get paid. So. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I, I might as well wander off with my eyes to look for these shiny rocks again. <laughs> like, Okay. Uh, so, as you stop even pretending to work, 
and you put your sight and hearing it into your cat once again. I. Uh, is the cat staying on the same level as you, or is it going down to level nine, where you had previously seen all the things? You put it that way. <laughs> or level eight, or kind of halfway. How far away are you sending it, is my question. Um, level eight and nine seemed good. I mean, uh, she can only stay for like an hour. I'm not sure how much time has passed. So. Uh, at this point, you probably have half that time remaining, if that. Yeah, I, I, I would want to center her somewhere where we have a chance of and something. Otherwise, what are we going to do with that information, right? Uh, um, make a two checks for me, please, for your cat. Stealth and investigation. Uh, okay. Stealth is probably going to be easier. Nope. That's an 11. Not awful. And investigation is probably just going to be intelligence, huh? Mm-hmm. One. And a one. So, the cat. As it's sneaking around the corner and starting to go down the gallery towards uh, kind of the access tunnel, that you used to get from seven to nine the last time when you first found this. I figure that's the best shortcut. Uh, the cat can't open the wall. Can't open that secret door. So she kind of throws itself at it. You just hear, somehow you all hear coming from down the hall. And you hear a couple of other voices. Is that a cat? We should really stop that animal making that noise. And what's it doing? It's, it's uh, looking for rocks, <laughs> shiny rocks. Uh, and as it kind of paws at that one, at that trap door, uh, it does see a shiny rock and it brings it back, kind of, haha, got it. Grabs it in its mouth and trots back to you. Uh, and just before its time ends, it drops this. this rock next to you before going to poof into a poof of kind of glittery, glittery crystalline smoke. And there where it was, the rock that had dropped in front of you was very, very nice bit of rock. Okay, what kind of rock? <laughs> uh, it could pass for anything that is around you at this point. It looks to be like maybe kind of like quartz that I think it's hematite that has the crystals mm. growing inside of it. Uh, but just like a very, very tiny one. Just ever so okay, tiny. so not, not really much of value, just uh, no nice. value whatsoever. It is very slightly shiny on one part of it, and that's it. I'll, I'll keep it nonetheless, and I put it like next to my bed table later when we get a chance. Okay. That's all the, your cat manages to find this particular shift. The hours go by. Is there anything you wish to discuss while you're down here? Or shall we fast forward to the end of the shift? I, I relate already that uh, uh, she wants us to, like, talking was not safe. Um, we're going to talk at the black, old blacksmith um, uh, at the discussed hour. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Um, yeah, like, like, we didn't really gain any uh, new information because um, she was just like putting on a face. I think so. We, like we discussed what we was we were planning before we met her. I think that I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll move to the end of your shift as the whistle sounds. And it's, you hear it just barely in the distance. You're so far down. Signaling the end of the shift, the end of your pretending to work. As you start making your way up and out of the mine, surround it, slowly getting surrounded by more and more miners, leaving their positions, leaving their posts for the shift as well. Joining the throng of tired and dirty miners <laughs> heading up and out. Are you headed straight towards the blacksmith shop? Or are you I'm have another? I'm gonna stop do one make? item of subterfuge. 
maintain okay, the what subterfuge you like to do? when we um, get to like the the weighing station. I'll mm-hmm. kind of feign like, ah, oh, I didn't get much. I'm not, I'm not feeling very well actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel tomorrow. Okay. Oh, are um, you okay? Did you feel ill? I give just give you like a look. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's going on. And I hand you wordlessly a granola bar. <laughs> <laughs> As one of Ebby's famous granola gar- bars gets passed around. I pocket it for later. because You make your way fun. out to the night sky. The shift ends at midnight. So as you walk in, it walk shift. out of the mine, it is still dark. It You're used to the day shift, the one that ends with, that goes from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So you're used to there being sunrise when you enter the mine and the sun still being in the sky. It's a new sensation to walk out of the mine and still be in darkness. I like it, kind of. <laughs> I don't get to see the stars very often out here. I like the darkness. You can hide. I mean, more. yeah, I think eyes have adjusted to the darkness in the mines. Uh, and visible for us out. Yeah. You all have dark vision? No. Mm-hmm. I think I do, actually. Now, with my powers. I think. Yeah. <laughs> now you do. <clears throat> I will. Uh... Reassume my more normal, nondescript look now. <laughs> normal, nondescript. <laughs> okay. The gardener chic that you usually have no, on. No, no, no. The, the, probably the... Actually, yeah, the... Hmm. Which form are you taking now, my changeling? <laughs> hmm. Maybe the one that she already knows for the meeting... Yeah, all right. Fair enough. That guy's taking the day off. I'll stay. I'll stay like that then. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, okay. I take I take Shah to the side and whisper to him, right? <laughs> yes. To make sure I'm using the right pronoun here. Currently. It, Question. <laughs> <we're changing. laughs> um. Let's tell him. You seem to be the expert in these kinds of things. Are there something? Is there a way we can make sure that we're not followed? Hmm. Any tricks? We are still not so experienced, so if there are others more experienced than us, they may be better at hiding, but keep your eyes around you, keep your ears open, um, and I can keep watch whilst you talk. We should make sure nobody follows us there, though. We can try our best, certainly, but... Yeah, if they're better than us, we can only try so hard. We can take a long route, double back, take a different path, confuse and confound a little on the way. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Since you're all actively attempting to shake anybody that's pursuing you, can I have a group stealth check, please? Fifteen from Abby. Twenty-one natural twenty from Echo. Twelve from Henry, and a nine, nine. from Shaw. Plus well, seven. My, finally, I get to do my best role, and I stuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta love it. You just your ways, Mister Subterfuge. <sighs> as you Let are, <laughs> as you are, yeah. It's this, the body of uh, Billovin. The miner that you've taken the form of. Does it does it sort of look like uh, when when they push in, uh, and go into the ministry like Harry Potter like <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Bilvin's a little bit taller than your the form you're usually taking, uh, and it's a little bit gangly, a little bit awkward. And as you're having this conversation with um, Henry about subterfuge and different tricks. You just trip on a rock and face plant. <laughs> and there is kind of, as you're leaving this and the some of the miners are starting to split off, there's a noticeable moment where the group around you that had just kind of turned away to go off towards their own business just turn back. 
and tr notice you all and then continue on their way. I reach out to him and, and help him up. Mm -hmm. Wait. But eventually, despite some tripping and getting used to longer limbs than you're expecting, uh, you eventually make your way towards a old blacksmith shop on the south end of south southeast end of this town. Yeah, we should make sure that nobody sees us going in there. Mm -hmm. uh, make a perception check for me, please. Just Abby? Just Abby. Ten. Ten. Okay. As you get to the shop, it, it seems abandoned. Uh, going into the main building, though, uh, Shaw, you notice that there's a corner that has, uh, looks to have some scuff marks in the dust and a old, what looks to be disused trap door, hmm. kind of half hidden under some old musty hay in the corner. I kind of gesture quietly to the others. Okay. <laughs> um, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Ah. <laughs> um. Should we go in then? Yes. I mean, we were invited. Um. Yes, but yes. As quietly as we can, I say, looking very annoyed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just walk up to the trap door and like pull it open or try it, try to pull it open. I guess you decide if I can or, or not. Make a strength check for me, please. Yes. Fifteen. You go to this trap door and you just yank it and there's a moment of resistance but your Goliath form just kind of pulls straight through it. And there's this loud crack as you yank this door up and you see kind of hanging off the end of it is this like splintered wood that it was some locking mechanism had attached to <laughs> that you've just ripped out completely. I, I look at the group like innocently and shrug. Well. Sorry. <laughs> and as you look down, you see down a short ladder into a small lit room. Uh, you see the form of uh, Jasper, the tiefling. Just kind of look up at you and sigh. I'm just like waving awkwardly. Is, is, he flips is, you off and then walks back to give you space to walk, come down. Is this the right place? Seems like it. It's it's the guy from before. I would like to take the... I would like to go in last and uh, probably lurk at the bottom of the stairs, keeping an eye up. Mm -hmm. It's just a ladder down. It doesn't it's go very okay, far either. The ladder then. I'd like to kind of keep an eye up that. And an and ear out as well, more crucially. Okay. Make a perception check for me, please. I feel like I should have more better perception, but I don't. <laughs> Um, 12. Hang okay. on, I have to do this. Oh, right, adding your... 14. 14. Uh, okay. So you kind of keep an eye out as you head down. I, I want to see who else is there downstairs, except yeah. for Jesper. As you... There's not a lot you can see from up top. I had uh, <laughs> Yeah, but as you head down, you see the four that you'd seen before. Uh, Corinne, Mile, Jasper, and Olivier sitting around uh, what looks to be a table with some uh, lamp lighting the room fairly well. And Olivier looks up. 
heard of knocking. Sorry. I knock on the table. <laughs> <laughs> At least close the door behind you, please. Did you break it? <laughs> <laughs> they sorry, uh they they told me to diffuse tension with humor. I'm not sure if that was obvious. Well, let's see here. So far, you have apparently tracked us seven levels down a mine. Well, thank you. Telepathically told us that we are in danger and that you're working for the person putting us in danger. Mm. And then broke the lock on our door to our little hideout. Well, we were. I think you're gonna need better jokes. Don't like an. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, but we're not really working for. I have not told you that, so we come here in in in, uh, like. Not like we want to like confront you or anything. We we we're, we're on your side. No no need to be so, so defensive. Luke, Luke, by the way, muted. you muted. You're muted. <laughs> you're muted. <laughs> and have been for the last I'm five minutes. I'm doing a whole monologue here without anyone hearing <laughs> <laughs> Your friend there is rather silent. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, at this point, Jasper the Tiefling, who you, you can now see better, has this still kind of coated in coal, but it's a little bit wiped off. So it's now this like coal streaked uh, kind of wine red skin. Uh, somewhere between Henry and Echo's build. Bigger, but not Goliath size. <laughs> I think you better explain yourselves. <clears throat> so the thing okay. is, yeah. we've been sent to kill you, but we don't intend to do that because Whoever you, sent us to kill you kill, kill, killing is a strong word. is an asshole. And we don't want to work with him, we want to work with you. He told us to take care of the problem, identify and take care of it. Um, yeah, I mean you can imagine what take care of he means, right? Is. Who is he? Oh, oh big, yes. Big, uh, this this big do small guy. Uh, big small guy describes a lot of dwarves here. The head asshole. What's his name again? Domo Asha. Asha. Domo Asha, yes. At that, you get a reaction. As the four of them just kind of turn to look at each other. Well, yep. now. So wondering when would get his attention. You have it. Good. And it was very easy to find you, actually. <clears throat> How did you find us? I mean, we're eventually we were going to have to say who we were. It's hard to negotiate if the other party doesn't know who they're talking to. But um, we would have preferred that happen a bit later. So, how did you find us? Uh, please don't take that personally, but I would rather not yet divulge that part of the information. Then please don't take this personally, but fuck off. All right, see ya. I think we got off on the wrong foot. We're <laughs> trying to help you. Let me be frank with you. I have no reason to trust y'all. Oh, I guess that's fair. You've been nothing but suspicious this whole time. Fair enough. Yeah. Let's try this again, as a sign of good faith. Who told you all about me? Oh, someone simply told us. Someone from... Who is that someone? Someone in the, in the uh, community store, I guess. Trust works both ways, my dear. <clears throat> Give us a sign of trust here. If you want to help us, great. We need all the help we can get. 
I'm not saying but that anything help about. needs to be trustworthy help, especially at this stage. What good would our word break if uh, be if we break it for somebody else? We would betray the trust when we promised not to tell uh, who gave. Does it actually matter to... who told us? Yeah, I mean, it's the it's one, whole... it's the go-to place in in for chatter in 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 the entire town and people talk i mean so y'all come to me with this warning that domo's looking for us wants yes. to kill us and that it's really easy to find us and then as a show of good faith you refuse to tell us how you found us because it might put somebody else in danger yes yes and uh peter do the do do, do the lens keepers have a like a Secret signal or thing or anything like that? Uh, not particularly. Okay, all right. So, how am I to trust y'all? Uh, we were hoping we could work together. I mean, we want to get rid of the big guy as much as you probably do yeah i mean it's no surprise that uh you formed a union <laughs> the conditions are shitty and the rich dude is getting richer um and he's an asshole much like clarence um, you will notice that in this the middle of this conversation with the lamplight flickering that the shadow near the ladder entrance it shifts a little bit in a way you don't expect. Who notices that? All of you. Seeing I was as I was lurking down that way, I will I back my tongue immediately. Kind of um look a bit more closely in that direction. Uh did you see that? I say telepathically. To whom? I put a finger in front of my face and point at the I, I said a group and ours. Uh, you just get a little short nod from Olivier, and all four of them draw weapons. Mm -hmm. All of them have swords, daggers, other things that were hidden on them earlier and now pulled out into the open. Is there enough space behind the ladder for me to kind the, of like position myself? The ladder's kind of against the wall. Okay. okay. I, does it look to us that they are drawing the weapons and pointing them on us or at no. the shadow? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Towards the shadow, but uh, especially um, Jasper is giving you all a look right now. I um, I say stand back and I try to um, turn into uh, the Sphinx. Okay. <laughs> and there's a short yelp from uh, Corinne as you make this change and Jasper quickly covers her mouth with his hand as you suddenly turn into your sphinx form in the middle of the story. And then, yeah, I, I face the direction of that shadow as well and I sort of like stand at the ready. So you're all standing very silently right now. Can you all make stealth checks for me, please? <clears throat> Help, Jack. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Dirty 20s. <laughs> 20, dirty 20s for Henry and Echo. Uh, <laughs> Mile and Crin, not so great, but Jasper and Olivier did really well. Uh, 13 for Shaw and a five for the Sphinx. <laughs> Seems reasonable. I mean, it? <laughs> it kind of balances just, out. You I have, just roll badly. <laughs> it yeah. happens to everyone. Oh, same, <laughs> to me, same. all the time. <laughs> and perception check on my end is crap. Good for you. There is a moment that passes. And another. And you hear the slightest creak of the boards above you. as you all stand silently facing the trap door. I'd like to ready my crossbow in that direction. Of course. 
with another moment. As the tension is almost the solid force you can feel in the room. And then another creak of the boards moving away from the trapdoor, it sounds like. And another footstep going further away. In silence. What happened with that shadow, though? Is that still moving or? Mm -mm. The, sh the shadow that was moving weirdly mm -hmm. was that caused by some. It couldn't have been, right? Because the, the trapdoor is, is closed right now? It is closed, but you did break it. Okay. Um, so the shadow came through like a, a crack or something? That is a possibility. That's a possibility. Okay. Um, how's the lighting situation? Is the light still flickering? Uh, you're being lit just by a single lamp right now. Can I? How 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 bright is the cone? Um, <clears throat> you're effectively in dim light. Mm. Does it make a lot of noise to transform uh, back into human and back into her? Mm -mm. Then um, mosquito. Uh, I I just say telepathically. Kill the light. Who are you saying it to? Everyone telepathically. <laughs> okay. Yes, seven other people here. I need. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jasper reaches out and just turns the lantern off. So you all are plunged into darkness. Does my Sphinx have dark vision? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please say it doesn't because that would be great. <laughs> yeah, I don't I, I don't think she does, but uh, I think it's better if they don't see us. Um you can always um yeah, no. The only sound you hear is the of pulling back a string on a crossbow. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> another minute passes. And then another do I smell anything from upstairs? Make a perception check. The bear has advantage. <laughs> yeah, it's it's mechanically it's a bear. Yeah, um, mechanically the sphinx balancing. is a bear, but yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Essentially, your friend is a flying bear, mechanically speaking. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, I. I pressed yeah, the wrong Yeah, you didn't thing. roll anything. You just clicked okay. the... <laughs> cool. Uh, I just... Uh... Online play. Gotta love it. So you're from Ebron and not from Russia? <laughs> the mis mis mystical land of the flying bears? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. With advantage. Ah, oh, that's better. Smell. 24. Yeah, that's a lot better. You get the faint odor of sweat. That doesn't match anybody in this room. And it's getting, it was faint to begin with and is very quickly fading. Mm -hmm. Remain silent. Another minute passes, fades pretty much out of existence. I turn back into uh, my more human form, sit down, and I druidcraft the light back on. Okay. Olivier looks at all of you. Tell me again why we were supposed to trust you. I think and we that should... is where we're going to take a break. All right. <clears throat> uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes. I um, pick up with this new development. <laughs> See you then. See ya.
and welcome back to tonight's episode of Crit Test Dummies Presents Chronicles of Geistala. That was a really weird way of saying presents. Okay, that's the kind of night we're having now. Got it. Uh, so <laughs> our quartet of heroes question uh, mark found the union leader, Olivier, and her group, uh, warned them that they were in danger and were told to meet them at their safe house on the south side of the Asha Mining Corporation town uh, under an abandoned blacksmith shop. The four of you proceeded to break their trap door, uh, tell them that you were hired by the person that is trying to kill them, but you really don't want to, and then refuse to give her any more information than that. <laughs> At which point, uh, footsteps were heard above you and shadows seemingly coming through the crack near the trap door that you had created <laughs> gave away the presence of people investigating this area. But through some good stealth rolls by some of you, you managed to remain quiet, not pull attention to yourselves, and eventually whatever was above you left. At this point, you turn and look, and Olivier, Jasper, Corinne, and Mile are all looking at you. And while they're relaxed now, none of them have put their weapons away. Uh, we should probably start at the beginning, eh? I believe you should, yes. And quickly. Well, so... We went down this mine shaft and we saw a cat. And we thought like, yeah, okay, we should follow that. You know, you don't see a cat here very often. And we've all found a bunch of crystals that gave us weird powers. I light up my hand a little bit. Power ways. Uh, which includes her turning into a winged cat and all kinds of things. And, yeah, apparently... That seems to have been some sort of lab, right? From Osha. Um, yeah, I don't know what that was, to be honest. Yeah, he but showed yeah. up there. Long story short, he showed up there. Uh, found us rather amusing. Uh, and said, like, I might have some use for you. And Threatened who's in us. charge? And kill. Like Otherwise, he would kill us. We'd and our families. Yeah. Most important to me, at least. But well, I couldn't live with myself doing what he asked us to do. But I also don't like putting my family in danger, and. That's so. kind of the reason why we are a little bit we're holding back a little bit with what we're saying, you know, because we, do. as much as you don't trust us, we also don't really know much about you, except that I believe you're the best chance we have to, frankly, get out of here alive with our family. Make a persuasion check, please. <clears throat> Fifteen. Plus, you know, I uh, can only speak for myself. Uh, I don't like bullies. I try to stand up to them. Threaten me once. You know what they say. Uh, you probably don't. Uh, <laughs> but I don't. Um, if you were... He will do that thing again, and like, why would we agree to that? I'd rather fight him. He's he's bad news. That's good to hear. Now, from my perspective, you haven't attacked us yet. You have, however, brought trouble to my doorstep. You have just admitted that you were essentially hired to find and kill me and that you have powers that seemingly could probably do that. 
If we want to do that, why would we tell you? I'm not done yet, my kitty friend. Don't call me that. I have claws. So do we. Now. I need some, let's say proof, how you're trustworthy and are looking to help us. Your powers you mentioned might be useful. A union in a place like this can only do so much. I mean, slowdowns, strikes are harder to pull off now can accidentally cave in tunnels at opportune moments that are profitable. We can do all that and get some leverage. But we all know they're corrupt as hell up there. You find proof of that, we get leverage. So, you want to prove that you're trustworthy and wanting to help us find that proof proof of what exactly I oh, asked stepping out of the shadows anything that would help there whatever they might be doing that it would they want to not be noticed by the fine folks over a beacon Hmm. Sort of something that we can leak, yeah? Exactly. Or threaten to, at the very least. And, um, I think trust goes both ways. How can we trust you? I mean, did, I mean, we came here to warn you and, and you demand proof that we are trustworthy. So, um, we should at least operate under some mutual level of trust so you know well y'all haven't tried to kill me yet at least not directly and jasper here hasn't tried to kill you yet at least not directly not directly think... has he Henry, directly tried as to your, kill us as your friend would say a joke to diffuse the tension yeah <laughs> is, I don't henry is, quick question is everybody here on on in in this country so condescending uh, i mean hmm. probably oh <laughs> look great i sincerely appreciate you trying to help if that's what you're doing but it seems you've brought me more trouble than help so far uh well um trust well, me the warning i, must I do don't want to be here <laughs> but um the alternative, I think we, at least we thought, would be worse for you guys. Um, so what do you want then? I'd like to know. We want, want to get help? rid of the big guy. I'd like to help know. Help to do help? what? You haven't asked us for anything. You've just I, come no. in saying you're hired to kill us. No, like, you, I, there's a misunderstanding. We want to help you. And I've told you how you can be helpful. Yeah. So why are you being such a bitch about it? <laughs> no, well, well, hang, hang, hang on. Um, Can I ask a reasonable <clears throat> question now, please? Of course. But I actually don't know these three that well, I must admit, but we seem to have uh, common alignments. But uh, I would like to know, and there are many who would like to know, what is your aim with this union? What do you hope to achieve here with it? Better pay. Fewer miners disappearing. The actual possibility of paying debts at some point in time. So those that wish to leave can. I'm nodding. If so, really that's it though, stability. I kind of feel like we should get rid of the big guy. Yeah, I thought you had higher aspirations as well. That seems kind of underwhelming. That might be necessary. But the goal isn't kill pe anybody. The goal is to have a better life. Do you, intend, do you intend to take over? No. No, they want stability. Why not? 
All like, we want is stability and better treatment. If that involves getting rid of some of the Ashas, which I acknowledge it might, then so be it. This seems like a reasonable goal and one that I share. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of the Ashas, but my goal isn't to overthrow. It's simply to protect me and mine. Mm. I understand. That's noble and reasonable. Um, but um, if you're trying to reason with the Ashas, that might be a fool's errand. They are anything but reasonable. So and that is why I need some rather good leverage, which is where you come in. Sure. Uh, back to the trust thing. I know I am ob obnoxious a little bit, but um, bit. assume for a moment that what we tell you is the truth. We came here to tell you that you're in danger and also that this Osha dude uh, wants us to find whoever's in charge. And we need to present him with somebody to appease him and not to, like, uh, say, blow our cover that we are working with you to overthrow or, like, like give you a better position here. So we really have the same goals and we should find a way to, to, to not blow everything up. I mean, we could have not told you anything. It's kind yeah. of, I would assume, yeah, a sign of goodwill that we told you pretty much everything that's important. Do you have anybody that is against what you're doing? That you know of? Except anybody the Anybody on top of the hill and anybody that they're paying. I mean, somebody that we can blame on being uh, who you are? That being like that. Terry. So. Hmm. I don't know. Terrence is an asshole, but he's going to be hard to... That's exactly why it's going to be hard to get anyone to believe he's behind all this. Fair enough. That's a shame. We, we need to present some kind going. of information to Domo Asha until tomorrow. So we're kind of in a hurry. Okay, this is the first you've mentioned that, love. I just shrug. <laughs> So you're on a timeline then? Yeah. We're all a bit overwhelmed, you know? So we tend to forget things. So, get me leverage. You get good enough leverage? Anything that they desperately would not want people in the capital to know? Anything that might draw the attention of the high and mighty portaliers? Get me evidence of that. Any idea where we could start looking? I'll give you a look. I've already got some leads. You mentioned, yeah, he's got some leads already. And you mentioned that they had a secret underground lab. I imagine that might be in not a bad place to start. Of course. Find out what they're doing. If we can blackmail them, that can give us some protection and some leverage to help us and those around us. And do you have any suggestions what we tell Asha tomorrow? What we found out, of course. If you find enough to blackmail him, that. I like you. <laughs> she gives a nod towards you all. Don't misunderstand me. This is a bit of trust. I am letting you go, as it were. That's cute. You could. I'm trusting you're not immediately going to run back towards Domo and give him information early. There is a measure of trust here. I mean, yeah, that goes without saying. Uh, we're sort of like putting our life on the line and taking yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are welcome. Lives on the line, and so is mine. A lot of lines, lives on the line here. There <clears> are. <throat> I'm glad you think, understand that. I think now, it's about time there are some lives on the line that deserve it. Eh? Now then, if you're on a timeline, I suggest you get moving. If you can't find something fast enough, let us worry about the scapegoat. Sounds good. All right.
now. Yeah, I agree. Good luck to you all. And uh, have a, if you need to find us again outside of the shift, talk to Winnie again. <laughs> she sees your look echo and there's just this smirk that shows up on the side of the face of Jasper and Mile. Corinne's a little bit more, oh, how'd you figure that out? And she kind of shares the look with you. It's, there's two people that work at the company store most of the time. One of them's concerned with everything and one of them's concerned with nothing. Uh, we didn't betray her trust, so everything works out. You didn't, and you do actually have some of my respect for that. Now. Is, is Henry, is she being sarcastic again? I can't tell, mate. She's being Make correct. an insight check. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, hard to read. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> She's well, pretty hard blunt. to read for me, okay? <laughs> yeah, for with a 12 insight check, I I she seems to be uh genuinely respectful of that to you. Uh, Shaw, especially, because this is kind of what you do. She is harsh and she is direct. But you get the understanding. And I'm kind of going off your passive insight a little bit here. Uh, you kind of get the understanding that it's because of the responsibility she's taken on. It's not because she directly hates any of you. Uh, she's just highly aware of the security risk that the four of you present. Mm -hmm. No, I, I get it completely. I like her style. <laughs> I think I think uh, the miners are in, in good hands. Now, we have a scapegoat to figure out. We have some blackmail to find. That's, Are you sure uh, it's not going to be Terry? As fun as that would be, that'd be a hard one to sell. <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> On your way. As I turn to the ladder, I look back and I apologize for the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's okay. We'll uh, make the next one stronger. You should. <laughs> Let's be quiet as we leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. You head back out into the night. At this point, it's about 1 a.m. You all had a nice sleep into the morning, sleep in. You can keep going if you wish, but it is getting late. So here's my theory. Whether it's blackmailable, blackmailable, I don't know. There's something else in those mines. We know about this already. It's coming from the low levels. Some of it may be uh, fueling, well, yourselves <laughs> and other people like you, maybe. Some of it is ending up in Beacon. And that is where things potentially get more interesting and where we might find more of a source of blackmail, depending where it's going and what it's doing when it gets there. Beacon, is that far from here? No. Oh, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. You Capitalia. are. Sorry. Yes, yeah, the capital. Uh, you are about as far northwest as been as has been resettled in Gaistala. You're not the edge of the world. There's just most of everything west has been unexplored at this point in time. So we need to find out what they're doing with that what the connection to the lab is and why and who would not be happy about that. Sounds like a lot of stuff to find out. It does indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we go back. I mean, that's, that's where Osha was. So it stands to reason it was his lab. And that would be something that the people, the if miners. Something stands to reason, but Ebby, you broke up in that last part of that sentence. The telepathic link was a little shaky there for a moment. Yeah, it, it stands to reason that 
to uh, get that information out. Oh, we would have to go down there. I need to talk to my mother, though, before we go down there again. <laughs> it's getting a bit more intense. It's 1 a.m. You would know that she's probably asleep right now. Oh, right. Never mind about that. <laughs> so you <clears throat> with your mother. Yeah. Is that weird? Not to me. I don't know who mine was, so I don't know if it is or not. I mean, I turn into a giant cat. You turn into whatever you want. Um, <laughs> we're all weird, <laughs> probably. So, yeah. Everybody he living weird. with his mother is the most normal thing I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Point. True. <laughs> all right. So, we can either follow that path, or we could find if there's something more pedestrian to blackmail. I'm sure there's some kind of financial irregularities, irregularities somewhere, but maybe that no one's interested in that. I don't know. I like your idea. Which one? But are you into oh. accounting? Yeah. D and D forensic accounting edition. <laughs> Which idea? But, do you but, I, but I don't like the idea of running into the shadows down. You know, at level eight and nine again. Those were pretty nasty to deal with. Well, okay. But we now have powers. Maybe, maybe we. That's a good also, point. <laughs> maybe good also point. look from a different perspective. That what is coming out of level nine has to get out somehow. It's, it doesn't seem to be coming out through the main avenues. So maybe if we can find out where it's coming out of the mines, we don't have to go down to level nine. Interesting. But we want information. Yes. True, but don't you think we can gather information if we s sniff around the lab down there? Yeah, but that, that, is down. That, that is down in the dangerous part, no? True, yeah. yeah. I think we have to go down there if we like it or not. Seems like it. You three um, sure I mean, you're you're good good in the middle of things, don't you? <laughs> hmm? right? You three sure do like throwing yourself into the middle of everything. Yeah, I guess that's how we do it. Oh, I mean, we were pointed in direction. Everything. It makes sense, and we don't have much time to debate. It's until tomorrow, until our lives are on the line. And, and we uh, need to wage our lives to save theirs. <clears throat> is there another shift going on right now, or is it just... There is. Just, the there mind is works around the, the clock. The night shift. So you are, yep. So your third shift has just started about an hour, hour and a half ago. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're going in again, eh? That's what you want to do. I still think it, there's a better way, but... Um, what would you suggest? Well, we find Not going to the mines. Right, but don't you think the easiest way to find where it's coming out from is to go inside and see... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't I don't think it's in some ways. <laughs> we don't really have a starting point to look... Yeah, I don't. I don't understand what you're getting at. I... All right, fine. Information. I'm... You're breaking up again. Yeah. We we are looking for information, and you are looking for a person. So so how like? I'm not looking for a person. And where it's okay. coming out? I don't understand. Uh, it, it, explain to me as a player what you want. I don't. I don't really. Materials follow. come out of a mine on things. They don't just magically appear above the surface, and it's not coming out the. Main do you wanna? Surface. Do you wanna search everyone that's coming out there? No. It's With information. <laughs> A track or a or a or a, or a, a tunnel or something. Like a side entrance to the mine, you mean? Yes. Yeah. But we don't have any leads yes, to where yes. something like that could be, right? So you want you want to find something that leads us where we already know we want to go? We have a way to get there already. We don't have to look for I something. I don't know why we. I don't, you don't need to go into the middle of the nest to find out the information you need. But okay, fine. We 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 can just. Uh, I can fly you down there if you want to go like less the less trod path. You seem a very powerful person. <laughs> okay, I don't know. All right, fine. Whatever you want to do. All right, shall we go? <laughs> I'm 
I mean, Sorry, maybe I'm understanding this not correctly, but I thought there was like one big way into the mine, like a big shaft or something, and that the rest is mountain, right? Right. I think the idea is that there's like a secret hidden pathway out of the mine where they move all of the black crystals out of the mine because okay. it'd be too obvious if they brought it out of the main the main entrance or whatever. Uh, Echo and Henry would especially know this. Ebby, less so, but possibly. Uh, that is the main entrance that you went in earlier today, as well as the uh, kind of freight elevator that Dusty operates uh, that you've been on a few times as well. That is not the only cut into the mine. Every mine has ventilation shafts uh, that let fresh air come in and out. Uh, every mine has a sump pump that gets rid of the excess water, especially from the lower levels. There are other ways that you could sneak into the mine if you wish that you are aware of as people that have worked here for 10 plus years. Okay, so I as a player and as a character would not have known that. Yeah. Are these are these like big enough to pass through there? As, as, they're uh, they're not made for people to move through, but hmm. the four of you, uh, your Goliath friend Echo might be a tight fit. But yeah, you could probably find one of these vent uh, tunnels and make your way in that way. Yeah, but to find one that leads us directly where we need to go, a bit Do of a stretch. Do we need to go there? This is my point. Do we need to go there? Information leaks in various places. You don't always need to go right to the source of it to find out what you need. But do you have a better idea of where we would find? No, but that's what we find out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe, the maybe. way I see it... Okay, well, I mean, last time we all died, so fine, but okay. <laughs> Maybe we could, we could sneak into the manager's office instead and, like, plan a diversion and check the books and... Are we good at sneaking? I'm not good at... Well, my stealth checks were actually really good, but <laughs> I'm huge, so I don't think I should count on that. As you say this, you look over towards your Goliath friend and remember that he is a Goliath friend. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe we should just like sneak in and go to the lowest level and check mm -hmm. out the lab. Yeah. I mean, it might be dangerous, but Abby has a point. We all have like superpowers now. So we yeah, should. I don't be also like we have, we're on a clock. Like if we wait for something to come up. Not clock, suicide saying, address that we don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Then, then tell us what you want to do. I you don't understand what you want to do. Times. I for real don't. You're super weak, All right, man. Let's go. It's fine. I've been very, very let's clear. Let's just go. It's fine. Okay. Let's so, find in for another shift. Unless, so are you going through main entrance? Or are you searching for vents? I mean, we could sneak in regardless whether we find the, the pathway, a pathway leading directly down there. Right? We could just use a vent to sneak in without people noticing. To get into the mine itself and then go from right. there. Yeah. Right. Hmm. That is a good idea. Good idea. Okay. Let's do that. Cool. Uh, do I know events that I know leads to lower levels? No. Uh, because you wouldn't travel them, so there's no real way of clocking uh, where, where the vent leads to. Like, you've seen a couple. Uh, there's some cut higher up into the mountain. There's some like, away from the main entrance that almost looked like wells going down into the earth. Uh, there's a few running along the cliff face uh, that the main entrance is cut into, just kind of further along that are smaller entran uh, entrances and also a little bit up off the ground. Uh, Would I have to know some more recent ones? So that would mean that the lower it goes, the more recent... Uh, Make an intelligence check for me, please. Intelligence. 18. 18. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know that there is one that seems to be relatively recent mm. and is off to the northeast. So somewhere along uh, woo, yeah, this part of the wall over here. That's actually outside of the walls that kind of protect the main mining area. Uh, but it's a little bit up. It's like 15, 20 feet off the ground. Should be all right. Yeah, I relay that to the others. Tell them like, yeah, this could be a good uh, 
starting point. What do you think? Yeah, sounds good. Abby can fly up there. I can climb. And I can take someone on, on my back. I can climb. Right. If, if oh, need me, be. me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as you start making your way away from the actual mining town itself, I uh, can I get stealth checks from you all, please? Because uh, as you all would know at this point, the kind of wall around the main entrance to the mine and the admin buildings of the mine is guarded. My stealth is ridiculous right now. Echo, dirty 20 again on stealth. Oh, Balances out the natural one from Ebby. Uh, <laughs> What's with all these ones? <laughs> 13, uh, 14 from Shaw and 16 from Henry. Uh, sometimes little... D&D bugs me because it's like you just get a lucky roll and you don't really it's, reflect what you do. It's okay. Game. You need to remember who your DM is and the way I typically roll. Nobody notices y'all. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> at least as you're going around that side of this, kind of keeping in the dark, keeping an eye on where it is so that you can kind of locate the entrance to this vent. Uh, you don't hear anything from the wall to indicate that you've been spotted. You get to the cliff face, and sure enough, as was described to you by Henry, about uh, 15, 20 feet up is a small hole. Uh, Echo, you figure you can probably squeeze your way through it, but it's going to be a squeeze. Uh, that leads somewhere. should see if it's like sheer or if it's climbable or even walkable. I'm guessing it's going down. So, is it like uh, a slide? The hole is about 15, 20 feet up, so you cannot see down it right now. <laughs> um, I think I do have 60 foot dark vision, apparently. Right, so you can see up to it. You have no idea what's past the entrance. Yeah, that's we look, in, look in though. Abby's kid. And How are you getting cat. up there? What? Climbing. Can the cat okay, fly? so make an athletics check for me, please, if you're climbing You're able to have a climbing speed. Oh, yeah. there we go. That's the part I was missing. <laughs> I, did, I did say it. I did say it about five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, sorry. I missed it in kind of the clutter of some other stuff. Zoom d &T. Uh <laughs> So, yeah, uh, climbing speed. Pretty easily enough, uh, you kind of look in, and it is essentially a drop. Hmm. It goes in a little bit down before it turns and just. I'm guessing as oh, miners, shit. you have rope. I think I'll probably have rope, actually. <laughs> oh, you tell me what's in your equipment. <laughs> rope. Mm, adventuring gear. <laughs> oh, and pittons. Wow, check that out. Yeah. Go. Wow. Balling. I have rope 50 feet only, though. Uh, don't know how deep that goes. Perhaps we can find our ropes together. Yeah. So Sounds we would have 200 feet of rope, yeah? I don't have rope. Oh, I have rope. Yeah. Uh, could I, could I... I kind of know how far one of these vents usually goes? How long they usually are? You don't know where this one goes to. In you general, pick this one we... specifically because you think it goes to the lower levels. So it's pretty... With no reason so, that we should believe that. Yeah. <laughs> so this could be anywhere from 20 feet if it's going to the first level, to the first gallery or first level tunnel, all the way to up to 300 feet if it's going all the way to the bottom. I'm not so sure if this was a good idea anymore. Perhaps we should take the normal way. I mean, if we go in, we could just, if anyone has, starts asking questions, we could just say that we work for Asha. Which Wait, is does, kind of the truth. Can, can't we just send Abby's cat, like, to fly into the shaft? <laughs> um, she's, she's not, I mean, she shows up from time to time, but okay. she doesn't come, I mean... Okay. Mechanically speaking, I can do that twice per short rest, because it it's it costs me a wild shape to do that. Um, it's like a familiar for druids, so I, I cannot like she's not there. Mm. 
Okay, okay, okay. And and transforming into like a bird and flying in there, that would also cost you uh, a wild a wild shape. Anything that I transform into that is not the Sphinx would cost me a wild shape. Yeah. yeah. But I cannot carry all of you. I don't think. I mean, you I tell mean, me, you Peter. You could act fairy man and take sure. one at a time. I think with my strength score, if they would all cling on to me, that might. I don't know. It's I'm I'm huge, but that's nice. I also anyway. have a Goliath. True. Uh, am, am I strong and uh, big enough to basically use my feet and my hands as brakes if I s were to slide down the shaft? There is one way to find out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you mean like push push against the... Oh, the I know. Yeah. Doing a chimney climb down. I know. Hmm. Yeah. I might be able to carry you with strength 19, but it, not all of you. You could carry any of them singularly, yes. Not all of yeah. them. Yeah. And you, is it the kind of shaft you can climb down? But is, if the Sphinx is that That's big, what I was just telling uh, Echo, is that you can certainly try to climb down. Just a sec, someone is coming in. So what are you doing? I would say give it a shot, right? We're here for adventure. Let's, yeah. let's I try have, to... I have climbing things and can nice. climb, so... Yeah, it, it was your plan. You lead the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right i mean let's uh, climb up there i guess okay so i'm assuming shaw climb back down at this point so as you climb up make an athletics check for me please echo come on come on 21 you easily your strong goliath form scale the rocky exterior of this cliff and you do see this kind of narrow tunnel that bends down before descending. You know that it's narrow enough that you are not going to be able to turn around once you are inside. Are you going feet first or head first? Definitely feet first. Okay, Definitely. it's a little awkward, but with the 21 on the athletics, you're able to kind of climb above it and get your feet in and hook nice. under. And you start to descend and it's small enough that you do kind of chimney climb your way down. And you keep going. As you descend, the others, what are you doing? You've just watched Echo disappear into the dark. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I'm following, I'm following. Okay. Things, things in the Sorry, I was distracted. I okay, Henry, make an athletics check for me as well, please. 12, okay. Uh, you climb up as well. You're able to get yourself in and start also climbing your way down. Uh, Shaw. Is there any kind of bonus for having climbing gear and being? I'll able give to you climb? advantage, yeah. Because I'm not strong. So. <laughs> yeah. Give me an athletics check. Uh, actually, now with advantage, add your proficiency to it. Oh, I also have climb climbing gear. I just realized. Pi pi how do you say that? Pythons? Pythons? Pythons. Pythons. Python. Python. Um, <laughs> So this is plus two, plus... Plus two, 13. 17. Plus six, 17. Easily. Okay, cool. With the climbing gear, you easily kind of keep stabbing the wall, making your way down. It is first rodeo. Yeah, this is tiring, <laughs> but you've done this before. Uh, Ebby. Yeah, I don't fit down there. I'm a large beast. Yes. So do you switch back into your normal form, or...? Yeah, but I can't climb for shit, so I I transform into something small, uh, like an owl. Like an owl? Okay. Yeah, that um, that's my last wild shape. Okay. You, uh... you transform into an owl and you're able to fly up, but there's no room to fly in the tunnel itself. It's too small. Like, you can't get your wings extended. Oh, I will it's that small. Okay. Yeah. It's like our Goliath friend there is literally just kind of shuffling his way down. Okay. Then then I use a raven. A raven? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I assume I, I, can, I can look how... Of course. Yeah. yeah. So you take a raven form and step in now. Uh, and easy enough to do. And as you get in, you just kind of either float, like hover above Shaw as he's the person below you, 
Or you can land on Shaw's head and just ride him down. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> you take a platform, actually. No, you, you can't, mate. You have like there's no. It's not enough. It's, you have no wiggle room to use it. Yeah. So, head. Shaw, you as you're climbing down, you suddenly feel that the claws just kind of land on your head. <laughs> I might accidentally like. Oh shit! Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I need everyone that is climbing to make one more athletics check for me, please. DC is a little bit higher as you're continuing down. Nice, DC is higher and I roll lower. Getting ti- as you're getting a little tired. Oh, <laughs> oh this is beautiful. Oh, shit. Nine from Henry, 11 from Echo, and a natural one from Shaw. Almost on cue. All three of you slip at the same time. Uh, you hit a smooth she- section of this wall, Echo, and you just start sliding just gravity and as you try and push your arms out it just rakes up your arm and you're not able to really slow yourself especially as henry loses his uh grip and lands on top of you pushing both of you further down and then to make rathers worse there's this moment where you just hear this cawing sound and this uh, off uh, as the bickering between shaw and the raven <laughs> Causes you to lose your grip as well as you try and like brush him off and release one of your hands and you just plummet as well. All three of you uh, come crashing down into this heap at the bottom of this tunnel. Uh, taking, uh, let's see, is. <laughs> Can I maybe like jam a Pitten in the wall while I'm going down, trying to slow my fall a bit. Mm-mm. <laughs> Our fall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will ask you to all make dexterity saving throws as you get towards <clears throat> the bottom, though. And only because uh, you have a Goliath that's kind of slowing you because he doesn't really fit. <laughs> Breaking our fall. Say, yeah, can, a little bit. Can I roll above five? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. Okay. Yeah, Chris, it's been really bad for you this time, isn't it? <laughs> As you, ah! are, yeah, you're fine down. You're fine. Echo. Of course, Echo always rolls well. <laughs> yes, uh, which is a good thing because he kind of slows your descent a little bit and lets everybody else above him. Roll with advantage. So Henry and Shaw, please roll your deck saves again. <laughs> I won't. So 14 is still the better one for Henry. <laughs> and it's the same for Shaw with a seven. Wow. Uh, Echo, Henry, nine points of bludgeoning damage as you crash Ooh. to the bottom of this uh, ventilation shaft. Wait, didn't I roll a 20? You did. That's half damage. So if it's half damage, I'm dead. Okay, sorry, guys. This was a terrible idea. (laughs) Shaw. I think it's half damage because otherwise I would be unconscious. Shaw, that is... I'm dead. 19. Dead. Okay, so Shaw is now unconscious in a sandwich between uh, (laughs) Echo and... Uh, Henry, as Echo lands first, kind of slowing himself down, and Shaw's above. Wait a minute. No, Henry is above you. So, yeah, Shaw uh, Echo slows yourself down. Henry kind of slows down with Echo and kind of it still hurts, and you're scraped and banged up from the rock face of this vent shaft coming down. And then as you're getting up and out of the way, there's just a thunk as Shaw lands behind you. That sucks. This was a terrible <laughs> idea. This was a bad idea. Oh. If we'd gone in the other way, we'd have died from shadows. And I never actually said to go down the hole anyway. So. Uh, you sh- face the shadows, actually. It's- Nobody's doing anything. So, Shaw, make a death saving throw for me, please. Um, can, can I, am I still in the shaft as a bird? You, your, your descent is slowed. You'll get there after this round. So I don't see any of, like... Nope. Okay, cool. You certainly heard the crash, though. Can, can I mean, I, yeah, can I, I didn't know that I could do anything. Can I help him? Oh, you're uh, after this uh, death saving throw, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm also getting up like, is everybody alive? I look around. You oh, hear that's, a... That's a fail. Uh, that's an eight. That's a fail. You hear a kind of a groan from behind you. <clears throat> and you look over and Shaw is banged up from that fall. Oh, shit. Not again. I will try to... Can I try to help him? Uh, stabilize him? Sure, make him, unless you have a healing kit, just make a straight up medicine check for me, please. Yeah, I could also give him the granola bar, just saying. I still have one. <laughs> Everybody of you has one, I think. Yeah, he gave one to all of you. 14. 14. That's enough to stabilize you. So you're at zero hit points and you're unconscious, but you're stable. <laughs> As the crow finishes landing down near you. And, uh, Ebby, you see this scene of uh, Henry kind of making these improvised bandages, uh, covering these cuts and bruises and making sure that Shaw is breathing somewhat. Ah, yikes. I, I know a few things about blunt force trauma, I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick, he should still have one of my uh, nutrition bars uh, feed it to him. Okay. It'll make him feel better. Yeah, I uh, stuff that in his mouth and just move his jaw. <laughs> you kind of like force Shaw to eat this granola bar <laughs> in this weird like, oh, oh, oh. It's, <laughs> it's a little bloody and it's a little bit, it's like somebody chewing with their mouth. If a vampire was chewing with their mouth open uh, uh, from <laughs> the blood from all the trauma and everything from the fall, it's, it's not nice. Mm. But... <clears throat> A moment or two passes, and Shaw, you are now conscious with one HP. As you yeah, <laughs> sputter the crumbs out of your mouth. I'm sputter out. This is why I like finding information. <laughs> <laughs> and not coming into the middle of things, but anyway. I thought this was your plan. No, it wasn't my plan. <laughs> it wasn't my plan. <laughs> I still don't know your plan. Yeah, near as I can tell you didn't. (laughs) From where? From where? (laughs) Who knows? (laughs) Just standing around? (laughs) (laughs) So far, I think the plan was to find some some other way into the mine, standing there until information comes out. I don't know what else to do. So as you all bicker at the bottom of this mine shaft and tend to your wounds, I... Highest perception. That is Ebby. That's not me. Ebby. I know. I just said it was Ebby. <laughs> uh, you kind of in your crow form, just feeling the dampness of the air. You are very deep. You're not sure if you're on level eight or nine, but you are somewhere near the bottom. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I said like, like, yeah, well, we're down, all right. At Probably least not getting down. up the same way. Um, <laughs> this might be deeper than than the lab. Um, I'm not sure if I if if Druidkaf would help me determine like. No, probably not. Um, yeah, I also wanna. In, Are you in, in your rave pro form, form still? Okay, yeah, yeah, you're still in your yeah, rave form. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, oh, my image froze there. There you go. I, I would um, maybe like scout ahead a little bit while the others recuperate. Do ravens have dark vision? Uh, I don't sure. think they do. So okay. you may scout ahead a little bit, but it will be at disadvantage. Mm. So a perception check at disadvantage, please. So that's a 17. Okay. Oh, uh, Wild Shape takes my mental attributes, yeah? Correct. Okay. Yeah, and a seven. 17 and a 7. So with a 7. You know enough that you're in a side tunnel. You follow it out and find yourself into the gallery. You have no idea which level. You don't know whether left or right is towards the main access ramp. One question. Don't yes. I have dark vision? I you think do. it's one of my origin points, right? You do have dark vision. 
but cannot. as far as I know, the rest of you are still back at the bottom of the vent. Right, right. I mean, you said once before that you don't like it um, when everyone from the, like, from the group does This is true. Uh, that was more of a comment of, if you want to do that, that's fine, but you're not there. <laughs> okay, cool. In, in that case, uh, maybe I walk up to the... Okay. Uh, um, make a perception. Yeah. Peter, make I, I think I made a mistake. Well. Yeah, what's up, Patrick? Um, I, I cannot shape into a raven. Uh, that that's that's a familiar thing. I, it has to be a beast. Um, Whoops. Uh, uh, birds count as beasts mechanically. Okay. Because polymorph is the same thing, and I always I go into giant owl with that all the time with my warlock. It, it, it's just not a relevant um, challenge rating. Maybe that's why it's not here. I yeah, don't know. I don't I'm, worry about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alex, uh, yes. perception, please, for Echo. As you kind of ugh, stumble your way, sore and banged up. I'm following out. Oh, 16. Uh, yeah, you turn to your right, and about 50 feet away, uh, you see the main access ramp. Sweet. Does it say the level, or does it not? Say it continues to go down, apparently, from there. So, okay. again, no, you've been in the mines right. enough to know that you're quite low. So you're at the highest level 7. How much noise did we make? A lot. <laughs> All right. Guys, I think we should head to the uh, to the main, how do you call it? Access ramp? Yeah, that's what I've been calling it. <laughs> right. um, and, and maybe head to the lower levels. Are you still up for heading to the laboratory or should we... Should we withdraw and then retreat? <laughs> retreat where? Uh, I don't know. To the dormitories and sleep. <laughs> how? How? I, I um. I sort of like. I I don't have fingers to point up, but how are you getting back up there? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I, I guess the main <laughs> ramp actually goes back up to, because it's an it's the normal main ramp that we know, but. Mm -hmm. Does I'm it have any? Sure. Does the, when when we went down there the first time, uh, mm -hmm. and it looked sort of like rough in the ninth level? Um, does it look similar-ish, or does it look even rougher? Uh, the bird without dark vision has no idea. Hmm. So there's uh, no light Henry, source, no with, no with lamps or anything. Uh, Henry and uh, Echo again. You you know you're low. The fact that the access ramp continues on. Hence that you're not at the bottom yet, hmm. uh, but you're close. So the access ramp that people use, which is like sort of like the main yes. down thing, doesn't have any light sources. Even uh, not above, that are, if I can see like anything in the distance. Not that are just permanently lit at this time now. Okay. Okay. Uh, Peter, I have this underground sense feature. That mm -hmm. I can from from my background, I can always find my way in non magical paths underground. Yeah, and have advantage finding my way. Yep. Uh, and you look to your right, and you find the main access ramp up and down the mine. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what else you want from me. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> You're not lost, sort of. You know, like the main road is right there. You can see the highway, you just don't know what exit you're on. <laughs> Let's walk to the highway. I, uh, okay. So as you go to the main access ramp and start making your way down, it's very, you don't see anybody. Uh, number one, the third shift is the least covered. Not surprisingly. And very few are down this far. Listening out, especially uh, Ebby with your passive perception, same for Shaw. You hear the clinks of pickaxes and shovels, but they're a distance off. There doesn't seem to be anything close to you. Which, considering the noise of three people, including a Goliath, falling 50 feet, probably a good thing. But you continue down just one level until you reach the bottom of the access ramp and the ninth deepest commonly 
well, commonly-ish explored part of this mine. It is where the top part of the mine where a lot of the work is done is dusty. Down here, it is so deep and so near the sump, the kind of water runoff, that it's just cool and clammy. And as you go further into the mine, uh, like you said, Henry, you can kind of take the lead. You know, you have the sense of whereabouts you need to go to get back towards the lab. I need all of you to make perception checks for me, please. With disadvantage? With disadvantage for you because you are in a form without dark vision, yes. Perception, right? Yeah. Perception, yep. 11 for Echo, 10 for, uh, not 10. That's a 10 zero for, for me. <laughs> that is a zero for Henry and a 20 for Shaw. Yeah, mine stays a 10. Yep. Uh, Henry, you're focused on finding the path. You're not really dealing with your environment around you. Ebby, in your brave and crow form, you're kind of trying to keep an ear out, but you're not really hearing anything. You can't see much besides just barely tracking your companions. Uh, Echo, a little bit more focused on watching Henry kind of watching the group. Sha, you have the sense to keep an eye on the shadows. And as you're moving, there's a couple of moments where you think you see something, and as you get closer, there's nothing apparently there. You have your, there's no light source of your own at the moment. You're all relying on dark vision. So it is hard to tell where there's a difference in black and slightly deeper black. As you go through the cold, clammy air, but nothing appears to be amiss. Eventually, Henry, you find the secret door that you found before. Without much trouble, open it and go through. Into the cavern of crystals, where you found some of your previous ones. I would say we start sneaking at least now. Or of like, course, I was about to ask for stealth checks. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Henry, your crystal in particular came from this room. I need you all to make stealth checks, please. 19 for Henry. More like it. Wow. Uh, 19 for Henry. <laughs> Four for Echo. Your luck had to change at some point. 14 for Shaw. And for Abby. Um, yeah, I'm looking for a raven step yeah. block. Um, it's... For now, just roll a d20 so we can get in the rough range of it. 12. That's not bad. Okay. So you're going through Henry in the lead. Very quiet. Almost in awe of what's around him. Some slight crunching from Echo. Shaw managing to stay silent. The Raven, there's a bit of a bump against the wall that causes a few pebbles to break loose as the Raven flies quasi-blindly through this area. But mostly soundless. And unless somebody's listening for something, nothing that would be out of the ordinary. So you cross through this cavern that is little glints of the black crystals here and there. And mind you, this isn't like covered. It's not like you just walked inside of a geode. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Uh, it's just a few here and there. And slowly you cross through and enter the laboratory where there doesn't appear to be anyone. Though... Uh, Shaw, with your perception check from earlier and still kind of keeping that ear out, you do hear from the far corner of the lab what sounds like footsteps slowly dissipating. In it or the other side of a wall or something? 
Uh, like the other side of the lab. You're not sure exactly where it's from because you, you hear it before you enter the lab itself. But it sounds like, like somebody walking upstairs okay. away from you. Okay. And you find yourselves in a familiar lab. Surrounded by a few tables here and there. The one in the middle that had a, what looked like a dead miner on it, where uh, you found your crystal echo. It's now empty. Nothing there. The few crystals that had been on the table where you found yours at Ebby. It's cleared. Nothing is on it. There is the desk to the side. Uh, and the chest in the back. Otherwise, this room appears empty. The skeleton thing that you killed last time you were here, also no trace of it. Um, hey, take a look at the chest. Of course. I, I, before you do anything. I'm just looking. <laughs> no, 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 don't. <laughs> Hang on one second. Okay, um, no. No. <laughs> can we communicate with a raven or not? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I have, I've been, you can assume I have been talking telepathically. Yeah, okay. well, you look. can technically not, uh, telepathically communicate back, but you can talk not, to me. I would understand. I'm, well, I'm not even going to talk. I'm just going to be like, and point upstairs. If there is an yeah. upstairs, I don't know. Yeah. Um, is, there's no light source in this room, right? Correct. At this point, there is no light source. So you have can't really see him pointing. Okay. All right. Well. I assume it saw it. I have no idea. I don't even know how to communicate with this creature. And I would like to get to the <laughs> desk. <laughs> okay. I would like you to make an investigation check for me. Please and thank you. I think Luke, uh, Henry was going first. I know. You? Henry, you're going to the chest, I believe, yes? Yeah, I'm just looking at it. Okay. Do you try to open it or just look at the chest? Just see. Yeah, I'm, I'm opening it. I was Fine. about to say, it looks like a chest. I don't know what you want. Yeah. Uh, you... <laughs> I also had the same thought a moment ago. Like, okay, what you open it up, uh, yeah. and it is has gear inside of it. Uh, there is uh, what looks to be pickaxes and a shovel, and a few sets of workman's leathers. That's, That's it. it. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm oh, okay. Slightly disappointed. I closed the chest again. <laughs> uh, what's your passive perception? Nine. Yep, that's all you notice. Uh... <laughs> Shaw. Sure. I'm, I'm uh, looking for uh, like shipping notifications, correspondence. Yep. Make an investigation check for me, please. It's an 18. I can nice. add the thing, but I think. Yeah, add a 22 total. There are a couple things on this desk that interest mm -hmm. you. Uh, you do find a sheet of notes. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not in a language that. What languages do you speak? Um, common, deep speech, thieves can't, and undercommon. It is a language you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is, you recognize it as undercommon. It is difficult to read because it is a very, very different dialect than you know. Uh, it would be a little bit like you trying to read Chaucer. You recognize it as the language it is, but it's very old. It's hardly the same language. It's changed so much. Along with that, you find a tome that flipping through it, you could take more time to try and get more information from it, but it seems to deal with paragite. That's the material. That's the blue turquoise uh, mineral that you traded to Winnie last time. Hmm. You also see on it uh, just for flavor. Uh, on top of the desk, there's a plant that seems to be growing here. It's a small potted plant. 
few leaves and a single, you're colorblind, so you have no idea what color it is, a single flower on top of it. I think this confirms my suspicions. Whether it's enough to blackmail someone, I have no idea. But <laughs> uh, Do you want to take time to try and read through the notes of the book? Um, I think I will read through the notes. I think the book, I will probably just okay. put it away. Make an intelligence check for me to see how much you're able to glean just kind of reading through this really quickly. Because it is difficult to understand, even if you know the language. Ten. Hang on. I'll put the Language? 14. Uh, 14. You see a couple of references to crystals. Uh, you see one word that seems to reference the closest translation for it you can think of as soul or essence. But it's not a lot that you're able to glean from this initial mm. glance through it. What are the rest of you doing during this time? Echo and Abby? I'm uh, going up to the altar-ish kind of thing in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking around. Okay. Uh, make an investigation check for me as well, please. Yes, sir. 14. There is near where you picked up your crystal and at first I guess it activated for you. There you spot a little bit of black crystalline dust near that spot. Mm -hmm. I kind of like touch it with my hand and it's really it's gritty. It's like really coarse sand in between your fingers. Knowing what to look for, looking around this altar. What's your intelligence score? Not a roll, just flat out. What's your number? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're, it seems to be a lot more than you would expect for just the one crystal you had. A lot more of the dust? Yep. Okay. Um, I notify the the group. I'm like, guys, there's the black crystal dust over here. Check it out. I don't see it, I say telepathically. <laughs> <laughs> Just transform back. I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah, want to I'm... transform back. I'm afraid we don't like. Like Abby is afraid that if she transform back, she can't go back up the way she came, and she doesn't know which is the best way, so she won't do that. And uh, I think she would try to uh, scope out the room best she could, uh, especially like uh, because her hearing is not impaired. Uh, mm -hmm. Would like try True. to figure out where. The, the footsteps are coming from if she has heard that make a perception check uh just flat no disadvantage so we're gonna go um, off of hearing for this uh perception oh no sorry 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 it's a plus five it's a 18. 18. uh sorry um what did i roll uh, you rolled a 13. plus it's, five is 18. it's it's a it's a 15. it's 18. yeah whatever uh, so, um, so confusing. 18. You do, as you're kind of flying around, uh, you do catch hearing from kind of, if you guys came in from the south, I don't know if it's the south. We'll say it's the south. You guys came in from the south. Uh, kind of the northwest corner, you hear just the faintest steps above you before it disappears. Uh, you would also, your intelligence is high enough to know that this is more or less the direction that Domul came from when he first appeared. Does it sound like dwarven steps? You have no idea. Does it sound he heavy and dwarfish? Oh, it's, it's more of <laughs> Is there rumbling steps. along with it? <laughs> yes, you're hearing hi-ho, hi-ho, <laughs> it's off to work we can... <laughs> I um, steps. <laughs> am I still within 20 feet of anybody? No. 
Um, so you had to go, by this time they were getting quite high, so you were close to the ceiling before you heard this. I would think I am fast enough to go back, say, I'm, I'm going to follow the footsteps into the direction with that Domo came last time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm flying back because I've flying speed of 50 as a raven. Okay, so yeah, you come down and you head towards the direction that Domo came in and stop yourself just before you run into a wall. Huh? Ah. So there's a secret wall. Hmm. Yeah, I come back and say, like, um, there were footsteps and that there is a wall. Uh, that well, I cannot there, pass. There are walls everywhere. No, uh, but but where the like the footsteps and disappeared where that wall was. So maybe there's a secret wall that is similar to the one that we used to come in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we should check the walls. I think. Yes, let's do that. Okay. I would like an investigation. Let's do a group investigation score. So from- I, I use my mimicry ability to to sort of sound like echo and echo what he's saying. We should check the words. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so I would like an investigation check from everybody except for Ebby. Does um do my thieves tools help with this with secret things? If it's locked, you might be able to open it better. Uh, fine. Ten. Ten for Henry. Sixteen for Echo. 21 for shot. There we go. Good roll. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's weird because um, they say rogues give him intelligence and you start to realize why, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Shaw, the other two are just kind of like putting their hands randomly on the wall, kind of hoping to do like the Scooby-Doo Daphne lean against the wrong spot and just fall through. Uh, Shaw, you're a little more experienced in the ways of these t- sorts of things. And as you are just very gently letting your hand glide across that back corner, you feel the slightest gap between one part of the wall and the next and feel the seam on it. And with the 21, you're also able to kind of trace it down until you find kind of this divot where the lock in me- mechanism or whatever it else is there. And as you kind of explore it with your fingers and what little dark vision you have to see what's there. You see a depression just on the inside of the wall. uh, And you also can see a very thin wire that's connected from that depression through the door into the wall next to it. So it looks like it's something that could be slid back, but you know it's trapped. Oh, okay. (laughs) <laughs> it's a very long way of finding saying you found a sliding door that's trapped <laughs> okay i wave over the others and it's like this is so, so it's but the, well, the footsteps are coming from upstairs yes yeah like, this looks like a door but it needs to be disarmed first um which would imply there's something in there or behind there that Someone wants to protect. I slowly pull my hand back from wanting to touch. The door. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, I could try and disarm it, but be ready because I am not feeling very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have never played a rug before. How do you disarm traps? It is a thieves' tools check, so it is a dexterity check with proficiency. Okay. Uh... So I just add that on to whatever this is. Mm-hmm. Okay. So dexterity check. So that yeah. is essentially oh, what check. you Sorry. just did. It's okay. Dex oh, save correct. is essentially going to end up as yep. the same thing for you. So 19. So 19 um, is fine. Like delicately cut the wire in the right places mm-hmm. or, or something. Yeah, you're about to cut the wire uh, before you realize that that is, would trigger the trap. Ah. Uh, as it is essentially you kind of fiddling with the wire and looking at it and realize that it's something that is triggered by tension being released by the wire. So cutting it, it would release the tension and trigger the trap. Okay. So, uh, so you're, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, so the way that this one is disarmed, you just kind of unhook the wire from your side 
keeping tension on it with another tool through the gap. And so you're able to kind of slide it, hook it on some rock nearby to safely hold that tension on the wire and you're able to slide the door open. Give especially the barbarian a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and you see immediately in front of you, after about a five foot landing, a spiraling staircase that goes up. Makes sense. Shall I fly ahead? How can we make it so you can see? I mean, I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but like, can we give you a tiny lantern or something? <laughs> yes, please. I mean, I, I cannot like any torch. Uh, a trinket around my uh, head with a light spell would probably work, but nobody think I can do that. Um, oh, no. no light. Bells, yeah. That's why I initially wanted to transform into an owl. <laughs> I know. I, mean, I could actually, cast Eldritch although... Blast on you. Actually, actually, um, I don't really know kind of the, the, the technology setting. What light do, do the miners have, like, lamps? I uh, think like 1800, so it's not electrical lighting. Okay. Uh, so what most miners at this point would have, there are some headlamps, but most of them are going to be carrying what are called safety lamps. So it is a, a live flame lamp that has a metal screen around it to diffuse heat yep, yep, so that it doesn't yep. immediately spark gas and blow up. So in that chest, there's not going to be any headlamps we could give birth. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is, is there like... Uh, hmm, there's nothing in that room that we could utilize? I mean, the desks are wooden. You could break some wood off and make a torch, I suppose. I mean, yeah, if, if I, I... I could just transform back into a human and produce flame. <laughs> but then I cannot fly anymore uh, and not be sneaky. I mean, I guess uh, I don't have to be a raven. I think there's sneakier ways to get up there, but it's just an escape route. Um, Can you be a, a rat or something? Yeah, I cannot transform into anything else. Um, uh, short rests, which I think might be a fair time to take uh, given your health but we, we we're in pursuit of this dude right uh, hmm. i mean i do have dark vision but i'm also a huge guy so i don't think yep, I should be that doesn't really <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. let's just go i suppose sha aren't you no your hp is too too low but you, you're yeah, a really sneaky, sneaky person, good, right? I'm good at getting out of a fight quite quickly if I need to. So. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if it's worth risking, but otherwise you could be the one sneaking up. Wait, can you see in the dark? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Um, what about um, Henry? Do you have any dealings with a entity that helps you in any way? In situations <laughs> I, can, like I can see pretty well down here. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could shoot Eldritch Blasts at things. Kind of gives gives us away, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How how about just somebody that is good at sneaking and seeing I in can, the dark? Uh, that I can is speak not this weird language. But echo. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just do both? Why don't we sneak and you fly? You could also. Cause it a good distraction potentially, even if you don't see anything. As a raven, I could you make the sound of a baby, <laughs> or something else. I don't know. I can like, I could use use this uh, ability to cause a distraction. I suppose. You make the noise of uh, Domal Asha's wife, mm. <laughs> calling him in case. <laughs> I will chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> the, the, the sanding stone. <laughs> Actually, the name does sound a bit like a raven's call, so you could try. But <laughs> all right, let's let's um let's maybe very very slowly get up there without light. Okay. And okay. Uh, I'll be your ears. I don't know. Who is going up in what order? I think uh, I go first. Okay. I fly I'll up watch. first. I'll follow. <clears throat> okay. How are you flying in the dark? 
point. <laughs> how, how how have I been flying up until now? I've mostly been assuming that for the larger portion of it, uh, you've been just close enough to everybody else to kind of make out their shapes in the dark. Okay. And not really strayed far from them. But I was. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, and that's when you almost ran into a wall. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I guess I... I become a uh, human again. Okay. So what is the marching order of the stairs here? Um, Who's going first? Not me, um, no. They all go somewhere in the front, I would say. I mean, it depends what we see. We have to, but I, I, I mean, I, you I, just I, see a stone spiral staircase right now. Who's going first? I mean, I I'll go it. first. Okay. okay. As Henry goes up, does anybody follow, or do you all just kind of stand? I wait the for bottom? the others, of course, to follow me. <laughs> yeah, I, I follow Henry. Okay. okay. I'll follow. Echo and Shaw. At the back. I think if they're really Shaw should. Be back. Okay, Shaw's at the back. Echo third. Fair okay. Enough. Fair enough. Uh, can I get group stealth checks, please? Everybody, make a stealth check. Eighteen. Eight. 18 from Henry, 17 from Echo, 20 from Ebby, and 23 Ooh. from Chris. Let's go, guys. The rolls are coming out. There you go. <laughs> you all, silently, there is not a sound as you tiptoe up the stairs. Uh, does anybody close the door behind you? Joel. Sure. Yes? Who's the okay. last? Do you want to? I mean, I don't know. Shaw's the last. You close the door behind you. Well, leave no trace, I guess, I suppose. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, actually, you close the door. Actually, how hard would it be to reset the trap? Incredibly difficult. Okay, all right. Fine. Because <laughs> you hooked the wire back in on yeah, the right, other okay. side of the wall. Yeah. Uh, so, as you make close the door, not trapped, but it's closed, and make your way silently up. Uh, Henry, you eventually reach, after what feels like a fair bit of climbing you know that you have gone a long way up hmm. eventually though five ten minutes pass you reach a trap door above you i, I wish for the others to catch up with me i think i know where this is going yeah probably the mansion Yep. So we could have can I tell from <laughs> can I tell from like the I don't know pressure difference or something if we are near the surface? You know that you have climbed far enough up that you should be near or near-ish the surface. Whether right. you're exactly like this is gonna open into sunshine, you're not that specific. But hang on, one question: Where were these footsteps? Oh, the footsteps were going up the stairs then. Yes. Uh, do we do we have what we came here to find though before we leave? I don't think so. I mean, I don't even know you checked notes or books or found anything. Yeah, you said nothing about that to the rest. You of the never group, told so. anybody. Um, well, well I, I'm assuming we've had a long walk, so I'll tell you on the way that I okay. found <laughs> something very old. My suspicion <clears throat> is that he's found some sort of information about. You know, ancient power to uh, create super beings, kind of thing, that sort of idea. But I don't really know if this is enough to to prove any of it. That's the only problem. Did you take I, the notes? Yes, yes, yes. I I cannot really weigh in on any of that. If that would be as a player, I know Beacon has like newspapers and shit, and and like mm -hmm. a lively society. But I'm not from here, so I wouldn't I wouldn't literally know nothing if if that sort of the information would be enough to yeah. cause a ruckus. It's so proof is a bigger problem. Yeah, I don't know. Shaw especially would know because you have that private investigator background. This proves very little. Yeah. Nothing connects Asha to this. It's interesting information, and a scholar would probably pay good money for what you found. New but mission. It yeah, it doesn't prove anything, and you would know this as an investigator and somebody that needs to prove cause and effect frequently. And a trapdoor coming up a staircase into his mansion, mm -hmm. his mine. 
mm, so what? You know? <laughs> and that's your word. There's no paper trail. There's no. Yeah. Just, just, he could be a billionaire uh, vigilante with a cave. <laughs> that's unheard of. You could also just go up and kill him now. Why no, kill no. anybody? <laughs> I was kidding. I mean, yeah, sure, fair. He wants to oh, kill no. us, so. <laughs> Hmm. So, so what do we do? do? <laughs> actually, actually, it seems actually. odd that we're discussing this now. That we I know you are stairs. right below the trap door. No, what y'all doing? Oh come on, we've we've been walking up for some time. I mean, the only thing we didn't really connect, which I, I kind of get the suspicion. I am, I don't know if the others share this that he's experimenting on miners. Uh, that is a more um, troublesome issue, but. I mean, apart from... It's a suspicion, equipment. though. Exactly. Unless you could, could have... Did, like, when you looked at that equipment, did you see any names on it or anything? I just saw a bunch of... minor outfits and tools in that chest. Nothing of interest. I mean, but... if, if we're debating this uh, sort of, like, silently uh, on the way up, um, then how does anybody prove anything without, like... A wiretap or camera footage or whatever. I suppose. So we need something with signatures, I would say. Yeah, and nobody like that guy would leave like a contract like this is my secret plan behind, right? Um, so I think um, unless we find bodies, like we are the best proof. Like we have these powers, we can demonstrate these powers. We have that dust. Uh, we know where the location is, so we can lead people there. Um, and, it's, and it's just demonstration of like what we did and accusations and then it would maybe if we like make fleshy ways to demonstrate our powers people would like say oh this is interesting and then they would like listen to us so that they would maybe come down here and we should like hey we found this underneath the mansion and it leads to like the secret lab uh, here's black diamond dust or whatever that, is that anything? I feel he's going to know that someone was here. Oh, yeah, for sure. And he's he would have enough time to get rid of the him. evidence. Yeah. Uh, he can get rid of uh, the lab, maybe. Um, I think we need something more. But can he get rid of us? Concrete, we go smart, to the something. city. We need we need something uh, in our hands. I would say the only problem with you being the evidence is: Are you necessarily a bad thing? You gained extra powers. Is that a bad thing? Yeah. No, it's not. But uh, if it happens against somebody's will, um, yeah. Yeah. it's it's probably like um, he did this uh, down the hill. He could have done this uh, in public or in his mansion. But the fact that he built a trapdoor system back into the mine, into the deepest parts, mm -hmm. probably means he doesn't want anybody to to know this. You escaped. You know, he was trying to get you to be like super miners in the mine. You've escaped. And also, by the way, he wants us uh, to use us uh, as his tools to there's, find there's the, no, the evil union. Uh, no the, of that anyway. So yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just like our words against his, I guess. He has oh. lots of influence and we have we could demonstrate a little bit of power. And I, I, it's 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 not really much of a case, but uh, so far, we have. I mean, our only option is to to follow a little bit farther to see where it yeah, leads. I would exactly. say. Maybe we're thing, thing, conjecture. The thing is, he let us go, so he must. If we could have just went to the authorities right away, if he was really worried about someone discovering this, I think he would have taken more precautions. So, just uh, character knowledge, there are no authorities within the town you're in that you could have gone to. I was kind of just speaking in general, like someone who would give him trouble for knowing mm -hmm. about the existence of this lab. As well. Hey, this, um, the red hair one, uh, what's her name again? Olivier. Olivier. Olivier, she mentioned something from Beacon, like Portal Ears, what's that? Uh, you would know this because uh, you were in Beacon long enough. And actually, even those of you not from Beacon, so Henry. I was uh, in Beacon maybe like one day. Like I, I entered that's from enough. wherever the portal came so from. So Portaliers, uh, think the Avengers of this world. 
Oh, so, so people with power. So Abby would yeah. think like, hey, uh, if if we can get them to listen to us uh, and, and so like, hey, we have powers too. Um, and it's the fault of this weird dude. Yeah. And that's exactly why Olivier wants that leverage. So if she has something that solid that she can get in the hands of at least somebody that can get it to those people, all of a sudden Asha's under a lot more scrutiny by people that are going to be very hard to distract, pay off, get rid of. Yeah, I think that's a good starting point, but uh, we need something more than telling we need something to show for, and I think right. beyond that black dust that I think Echo oh. grabbed, right? Well, and, and the book. We, and, the and, and, and the book, yeah, you told us about this. Um, that's Yeah, I think that's a start, mm. but I don't think we want to go climb down and go the, the mine exit. Like I think it's still prudent to, to follow that path yep. uh, that we came up. I okay. agree. It may lead somewhere else. But this all fits into this whole balance thing again, because the the Avengers. It's like I feel like it's a bit like uh, the plot in the in the boys. You know, the superheroes, the good superheroes, don't want a bunch of other superheroes coming up and ruining the deal they have. <laughs> no, that's that's too meta. I think. <laughs> if yeah, it helps, I wrote this, thing. and I have never seen the uh, that show, so I have no idea what the plot is. <laughs> you know, if someone is creating superpowered beings, it upsets the balance. From the people in power. That's basically mm. all I'm getting at. <laughs> oh, so the Incredibles. Okay. I've never seen that. So there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't seen made of. So you've all been talking about these options as you've been walking up and have been finishing this conversation. As you have this trap door directly above you, what are you doing? <laughs> Listening. Okay. Group perception checks. You're all there. Everyone make one. I'm not a raven anymore. I cannot make this with advantage. Nope. Six for Henry, uh, 20 for Echo, 21 for Shaw. Ebby, 22. Everyone except for Henry. You notice that it is warmer next to the trapdoor. You don't hear anything, though. Up to the That street floor heating. <laughs> what now? Nothing, just... just... <laughs> Oh, it's a mansion. Probably has heating. Oh, I suggest we just go through the trapdoor. Before we do, I would like yeah. to... I mean, I'm not sure. I, no, I didn't. I would like to uh, take the form of the gardener. Okay. Because then at least I have an excuse to be in the mansion. <laughs> okay. Can we, like, can we like peek, take a peek first before we just burst through? I mean, you can certainly try. Uh, Shad. Could you check if there's like another contraption like on the other door? Sure. Make an investigation check for me, please, Sha. Um, can I can I help him with that? No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Because you explicitly low... got out of the way to let him do it. The low rolls come back. I can add the d4, but I don't think it makes yep. much difference. Oh, Go ahead and add the d4. You never... It might make a difference. Keep Four. Four. Eleven. <laughs> This one, this door does not appear to be trapped. It is, however, locked. <laughs> okay. We have the echo option and we have the shower <laughs> option to get to this. <laughs> but assume him to have better locks than a bunch when, of... Assuming we can lock this, I would like open it a little bit, like silently. I don't think I have to do this, but I think with uh, Druidcraft, I can instantly snuff out a candle, a torch, or a small campfire. And uh, given that it is warmer, I, I assume there's a heat source. Or like, I can also create like some some wind, some to make it somewhat <laughs> natural. Maybe it will buy us a little bit of. Um, okay. Like, First, you need like to that. get the door open. Do you yeah, have yeah. A lock? As I said, after the door is unlocked. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you make another? Uh, just roll a deck save because it's the same modifier for me, please, Shaw. Yeah, I like um, I like this idea. It makes it seem like it's oh twenty three, easy. You you've done this before. You I get your uh, pick tools and <laughs> slide it in easy, like butter. There's only a few tumblers on this. Tension gets in there. You just rake the pick across, and it sets all of them unlocked. So cue the wind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I, I probably. 
I'm gonna spend like half a minute in each round, um, mm -hmm. create some some little gust of wind, like like when within Druid Curve to to um, to make it seem more uh, not so out of place, and then uh, the last. Okay, this is a narrow stairwell. There can be one person below the trapdoor. Okay, I, we didn't know that. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying this now because I just have this mental image. Like, wait a minute. There's like three people like <laughs> on this landing right now. <laughs> Scooch over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my I, I should have described that better. I, it's a narrow staircase. This is designed for one person to go up and down at a time. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I necessarily have to uh, look at what I'm doing. I think it, it just says uh, 30 feet, and it doesn't okay. require line of sight. That's fine. So, who's opening the door? I think someone else, because then the fact that I'm beaten and blooded can work in our favor. Because <laughs> if we get discovered, I'll be like, they kidnapped me. <laughs> or okay. Yeah, I, I'll be on top and, on, and open the door slightly. Okay. Uh, so as you open the door, uh, you peek in. There is just a hair of light uh, that appears to be coming from a source directly to your right. Okay, stuff it out. As you take a look in with your dark vision at this point, this appears to be a small office with two desks on opposite walls facing away from each other and a fireplace to your right. Mm -hmm. that you seem to have just snuffed out the final embers of. Okay, I say telepathically, uh, Echo, you stay down here. <laughs> um, room's empty, it seems. And we gather information silently if we can, and then go back the way we came? Is that... I mean, if we're here for information, this is his office. Where else would we find something incriminating? Sounds Hen good. Henry can come up too if he has dark vision and doesn't make a noise, I think. Just so then we don't spend all day here. <laughs> um, just minimize uh, or the potential of being loud. Or maybe you come, can, you come up too. Can, can you fit... Uh, through the, the trapdoor easily? Yes, yes, he can. Okay, yeah, may maybe stand guard or anything? Somebody should stand guard. Yeah, let's leave this also leave the door open so we can quickly get out in case something mm -hmm. bad happens. This is the room that you see as you come in. Oh. You're coming D in from this top right corner. TNT! This appears to be about like a 50 foot by 50 foot room. Like I said, to the right is that fireplace and it has two what look to be comfortable chairs in front of it. It's a bookcase between the fireplace and where you are right now. And on the walls away from you, like I said, are two desks that are pushed against the wall. And in the far corners away from you are two decorative suits of armor. And in between them is a uh, ladder that heads up. Does it look anything like the mansion? You have never seen this room before. Mm, okay. Some of the furnishings, right? some of the decorations, that style is similar. Mm. But this particular room you have not been in. Uh, what is this here? Sorry, what is what? That that's a bookshelf. Right. Do, do these um, armor suits look um, just inanimate, like 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 in an old castle, like decorative? Yeah. yeah. And, and this is she steps you've seen similar upstairs? suits of armor. Yeah. Uh, they go up okay. to somewhere. Well, let's. Look inside the desks. <laughs> yep. Okay. Who is going in the room? Because there was discussion about some people staying below and some people coming I think the, the consensus was we all go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead and put your tokens in. I will fix the sizing of these guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I walk there? Yeah, of course. I would like to stay guard uh, behind the letter. Okay. So and sorry, not ladder. It's a short kind of little stairway that spirals up real quickly. There's two desks? Okay. Yeah, there's, there's two, two desks. desks. Yeah, you can kind of be under it, behind it a little bit. That's fine. I, I would actually take a look at the bookshelf. Okay. 
Take a look at the bookshelf. Uh, Ebby is heading to the desk on the left. It's one on the right. And as you approach the desks, and Echo, as you are getting close to the stairs to kind of guard that entrance, you just hear this subtle creak of metal. As you look over and see both of the suits of armor just turn slowly to face you. Uh oh. As these suits of armor, you see this light shine behind the eyes, eye slits of the helms as they take their first step towards you, Echo. And that's where we will pick up next time. No! <laughs> Cliffhanger. We're going to die. I was <laughs> gonna ask like a minute ago if it was too meta to use rope to 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 like use the rope to to like sort of like uh, wait Find for them. them to move and just. <laughs> yes, that would have been very much too meta because I saw both you and Chris immediately know what those were. <laughs> and it's like, too. God damn it, that's living armor, isn't it? Yes, that's living armor. Uh, <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> I know. I love it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is where we will pick up next time with an investigation of this apparently secret office. Uh, well, we have to fight for our lives. Hey, that shouldn't go too badly. I mean, you're only fell 50 feet and didn't bother taking a short rest again. Uh, yep. So. Sounds about right. <laughs> where? where would we take a short rest? I don't know. <laughs> Anywhere prior to this? <laughs> Anywhere before going through the locked trap doors? <laughs> Pretty meta. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would have thought it was meta to rest because we were this like, is fair. Uh, chasing down footsteps and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so that is where we will pick up in two weeks on the 15th of August at our usual time, 6 p.m. Uh, Central European time, Berlin time. Uh, thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, again, thank you to uh, Daylight Productions and their source book, Supers and Sorcery, that this is all getting pulled from and used for inspiration. Uh, yeah, and we will see these guys and a couple suits of living armor in two weeks. See you then. Uh, stay safe. Tell more stories. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.